over this building. Let's pray to the God who can hear and can answer. Hold your hands together inside all of the overflows. All those following us online, go ahead and let's bless the name of the Lord. We came for business tonight. Make sure you participate. Go ahead and pray. All those following us online, make sure you pray. Participate. God of all flesh to the miracle walker. Matabarato Satan Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, give me a testimony tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Give me a dramatic testimony that will change my life. Give me a dramatic testimony. A dramatic testimony that will change my life. A dramatic testimony. Dramatic testimony of God. A mighty testimony. A mighty testimony. A mighty testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, every spirit that makes me think you are not able to rise up for me, I cast that spirit tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Every spirit of unbelief, every spirit that wants to make my pain overshadow my faith, please pray. Don't be careless. Be serious. Be serious. Be serious. Shake up a kataba baba. Zabarato ko prase de barato sumata. Prasada barato. Ababarada barato ko prase de barato. Hallelujah. 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 When Moses went to Pharaoh, when Moses went to Pharaoh to demand the exodus of the nation of Israel, at a point he told them, he said, let the men go, but leave the women, leave the children. He kept negotiating certain things. I'd like you to make up your mind and say, but everything must rise in my life today. Not finances alone, not my spiritual life alone, everything.
must answer to the power of God tonight. Everything. Whatever did not answer in January must answer in February. This sickness must answer to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Genesis 21, verse 1 and 2. Please keep standing. Genesis 21, verse 1 and 2. God is already touching people. Genesis 21. Can we have it? Verse 1 and 2. Okay, let's read if they are not ready. Let's read together. 1 and 2. Verse 2. At the set time which God has spoken. Listen. There is always a set time. And let me tell you that set time is not when God determines. The set time is when your faith is ready. It says today if you hear his voice. Today if you hear his voice, lift your voice and say, Lord, I make today my set time. I make today, I insist that today is my set time. Don't be careless. I insist that fire must die today. My ministry must open today. I insist. I insist. Today is the set time. set time for every captivity in my life my ministry is bound Lord, we ask you tonight to give us strange encounters, give us strange visitations. Your people have come from all over this nation, expecting you to move in a mighty way. Lord, until you help us, we have nothing to offer. So we pray that you help us tonight. Help us tonight. Help us tonight. Help us. Help us tonight. Help us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yesu ya che ya kare Megirma ya che ya kare Yesu ya che ya kare Megirma ya che ya kare That's the word I hear in my spirit Yesu ya che Surely there is an end Surely there is an end. Make 
a prophetic word for someone the bible says surely let me tell you hear me hear me we don't cry forever in this kingdom there is a time when god decides to arise as a man of war yes, the Lord put in my spirit very seriously I want us to please pay attention this will prepare us for the great things God is going to be doing tonight I want to explain a few things um, I began to inquire of the Lord what he would want us to take note of to really experience the fullness of our testimonies and to rise in new dimensions of possibilities and the Lord dropped two things number one the first key the Lord would want us to have tonight and I, I want us to please pay attention because as the word of God comes it is your instrument God is not a herbalist everything happens on the platform of his word the first key tonight that will guarantee the hand of God upon our lives is a lifestyle of true holiness write it down a lifestyle of true holiness that's the first thing the Lord told me if we want to experience new dimensions please pay attention koinonia the reason why so many of us may not rise to that dimension that God desires is because we compromise on the revelation and the reality of a life of true holiness let me tell you something sin has very severe consequences hellfire only being the last but there are many other consequences you will go through here and now and I mean I had a little time with God and you know when God gives words like this I'm not the preacher who fools myself carrying words for people I'm the first when God speaks like this I lock up myself and I cry and I flog it out with God you are a pastor here don't just be a messenger be a benefactor 
of the things that God is communicating. Are we together? That attitude of pride that makes us think this message is for the people. I don't do like that. When God gives a word, it is first for me. First, even before the congregation. Are we together? Sin is a reproach to any destiny. No matter how you want to play around it, it will lead you to the same thing. Listen, let me tell you. God is not a herbalist. God is not a mantra or a genie that you use. It's not a hexa spell that you use. There must be the genuineness of a life. I didn't just say a nature. A life of true holiness. We hide behind the fact that oh, holiness is just a nature. Let me tell you, there is both the nature and the life of genuine practical holiness. Isaiah 59. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah 59. Are you getting blessed already? When it stings you, you receive it as a prophetic word from God and you rise. You don't reject a word when it stings you. When it stings you, it's a sign that there is a spirit that is taking advantage of that dimension and God wants to set you up. Isaiah 59 verse 1 and 2 I'd like us to read it please we we'll hurry up those inside and outside 1 to read Behold the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save Aha! Uh -huh. Neither is his ear heavy that it cannot hear What's the limitation? Have separated between you and your God and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear this is not a parable this is a reality and let me tell you anybody who wants to do business with god please hear me you must cultivate a genuine appetite for staying by god's standards your humanity notwithstanding are we together now please don't feel condemned i'm not condemning you but god is challenging you if you want power with god a lifestyle of genuine holiness is non-negotiable oh but apostle you don't know what has happened around my life that's why you are here you are welcome that's why you are here god specifically spoke to me and now please um, this is by no means insulting anybody you know and all of that I know that there are all kinds of people here but the danger of immorality and the filthiness of the flesh write it down the danger of immorality and the filthiness of the flesh the filthiness of the flesh is not just maybe immorality as we know the danger now, until you really know God and stay with God, you may not understand the spiritual consequences. Fornication, adultery for those who are married, and all kinds of immoral things. The Spirit of God spoke to me that these things will short circuit the genuine grace of God upon our lives. Now, I know that this is painful. But if you really came to meet God, this is the key tonight. A lifestyle of genuine holiness. Proverbs 28 verse 13. Proverbs 28 verse 13. There is power in admitting your wrong and pouring your heart before God. Foolish people have misled and misguided the church into that understanding that God just forgives by default be careful what you hear are you hearing what I'm saying be careful what you hear be careful how you are taught it says he that covereth his sin shall what please read your Bible he that covereth his sin shall it didn't say he that sins I read a scripture that really surprised me Hosea chapter 5 verse 15 we are talking about the first requirement. You want to see an upgrade in grace. You want to see God honor you. You want to receive testimonies. A lifestyle of true holiness. Hosea 
Alright, I want us to read. It says, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge and seek my face. It says, in their affliction, they will seek me. Because inevitably, they will attract to their life affliction. And it says, I will return to my place. Because the Bible says, the word of God does not return until it is accomplished. But it says that there is a mechanism that can stop the word from working in the life of a man. It says, I will return to my place until they what? They acknowledge. When you have the humility to acknowledge that you need help, you will get help from God. But if you allow yourself to dance in all this rubbish that people bring that makes themselves comfortable, I'm telling you this. Look, let me tell you, you see, when someone is talking to you, find out first whether there is a measure of the result the person is trying to propose to you. Are we together? There are people who know nothing about the anointing, yet they say so much, they make a lot of noise and, and, and they, they mock the body over the anointing. The anointing is a priceless commodity. A lifestyle of genuine holiness. Flee immorality, fornication, adultery if you are married, Hallelujah. The filthiness of the flesh. You can't be smoking and prophesying. Something is wrong. Are we together? Now, I'm not condemning you. That's why we are here. This is a family. But, but we must deal with it. You can't swallow all kinds of things. And codeine and all. It's called the filthiness of the flesh. If that price is too much for power, then forget about it. Forget about genuine anointing. I will, it says I will return to my place till they acknowledge. Two scriptures. And then we'll move to the next session. Galatians 5 verse 19 to 21. Is God speaking to someone? Very quickly, please media help us. Galatians 5, we have a lot to do tonight. I want you to maximize this night and that's the first instruction from God to all of us. I'd like us to read. Now, please give us, give us Amplified. Media, can we have Amplified? Is it possible? One, two, read. Now the doings, practices of the flesh are clear, obvious. They are what? What's number one in the list? Hold on. I'm just, I'm just trying to... Let me tell you something. I wish I were not the person who was going to talk about this thing. But you see, immorality is not just an act. Immorality is a spirit. It does something to your spirit man are we together and so when you find out that this is a challenge in your life assuming that it will be solved by itself is a dangerous thing you run to God are we together you run like the deer panting after the water brooks and he lists all of them First John 1 verse 9, the last scripture on that wise. One, two, read everyone. That we have sinned and confess our sins. He's what? Hold on. He is when there is a condition. There is a condition. He says if we confess our sins um you can go back to amplify god is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness in fact verse verse 8 when you read from verse 8 
um, can we just back up one verse? It says, if we say we have not sinned, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Then the next verse says, but if we confess. Confess is not these religious things that people do around. But let me tell you something. There are times you need to stay with God. That's why I encourage retreat. Write it if you are writing. Look, if you are a Christian, I am personally convinced that any Christian who does not have periodic seasons of retreat will never be able to last. Retreats are powerful times of self-examination and exposition. It doesn't mean you have to do anything bad. The light of his glory comes upon you and God steps the bar. And blesses you and anoints you. The issue of sin must be dealt with. How do we solve the problem of sin? Number one, you must be born again. You must be born again. There are many church goers. There are heads of departments. There are pastors. There are so many people who have not given their lives to Jesus Christ. Please, let me tell you something. Trying to receive something from a God you do not want to commit your life to is self-deceit. Are we together? There are people here, for instance, who have come. They may not be ready to accept the logic of Jesus, but they want the healing that flows from him. The ultimate solution to the sin problem is a genuine encounter with Jesus Christ. Are we together? The Bible says this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life, right? And it says this life is in his son. It says he who has the son. You cannot have life by ignoring the son. It is by embracing the son that you have eternal life. Say amen. amen. You must be born again. The next key is in John 8 34. John 8 34. And in Romans 6.23. I just want to deal with this because it came very seriously upon my spirit. And I believe it's a challenge for us. Now, I want you to read it. John 8.34. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whoever commits sin is a woman. That means under the dominion. It didn't say whoever commits sin is a bad person. But that you have allowed the dominion of sin over your life. Six. 23 of Romans 6 23 Romans 6 23 1 to read hold on change the word wages to salary are you ready 1 to read again if you work for me and I don't pay you. Am I a good person? Are we together? If you work for me. What do you expect at the end of the month? Even if there is strike. You expect that there is a, a what? So the Bible says. Whosoever commits sin. Is a slave to sin. Meaning sin is his master. And the Bible says. That man pays. What does he give? Death there does not just mean ceasing to live. Affliction. Are we together? Woes. Curses. All kinds of things that can come upon a man's life and impede his progress. The salary of sin is death. But it says, but the gift of God is what? Eternal life through Jesus our Lord. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Lord, grace, grace, grace. If you are not praying this prayer, you are really arrogant. Pray this prayer from the depth of your heart. Grace, oh God. The vicissitudes and the challenges. As a pastor, pray. As a married man, pray. Don't say I'm married. As a married woman, pray. There are spirits that haunt only married people. Shabaratakata. 
I mortify my body by the grace of God as an instrument of righteousness. Pray. Don't let the devil condemn you. But please cry unto God. Say, Lord, I need your power genuinely in my life. I need your power. I need your glory genuinely in my life. Fresh unction. Hallelujah. And please hear me. In case you are here and there is any sickness, any disease that came as a result of sin, I have good news for you. Our God is still a merciful God. You hear what I'm saying? Our God is still a merciful God. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Write this down. Practice periodic self-examination especially when you think everything is all right with you listen to a secret that i give you practice periodic i don't care who you are practice periodic self-examination self-examination number two send out of your life unapologetically People whose atmospheres cause you to walk in sin. Roommates, you must not stay in their room. Hear what I'm telling you. I'm giving you a big secret. Send them away. I'm staying with my uncle. That's why. Stand up. Let me tell you, if you get out of that house trusting God, the God of your salvation will arise for you. Hallelujah. A guy who asks you out, sister, and says, while you are thinking about answering him, you should be sleeping with him first before you decide whether you go out with him or not. Don't insult him. Run away and cut the spirit. Koinonia is quiet tonight. You want power, you want miracles. God is not a herbalist. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's be sincere with ourselves. If you really want to see the outstretched arm of God, you have to cry and say, God, help me. And in case you are here arrogantly saying, I'm free, yet, yet, the Bible says, let him that thinks take heed. Immorality, smoking, drinking, is sad that you have to say these things but there are people we have all kinds of explanations the alcohol the bible said in the new testament the greek word for wine is alcoholic i don't care what justification you bring to be a drunkard a drunkard is a period the bible says wine is a mocker i take it once in a while you will suffer once in a while because it's when your breakthrough is coming that the temptation for liquor will come. Are we together? How about pornography? How about masturbation? Oh, I don't sleep around. It's a spirit. Why am I saying these things? These are the things that authorize the power of darkness. Please, don't say, especially this masturbation thing and pornography. I'm not condemning you. But don't ever, if anybody has preached to you and has said it's alright, Joshua Selman is telling you it's a, it's, a, it's a cancer of the spirit. That's why you find out your prayer life dries. No matter what happens. But I'm still healing the sick. Continue. Are we together? I want 
And I'm trusting God that there will be maximum breakthrough. But we have to be serious. Mean business with God. Mean business with God. The allergy sends me money once in a while. Please delete his number tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. The military officer, it's not every time, it's three times a year. Delete his number even before we start ministry. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his. And let every man that named the name of Christ depart. Psalm 66 verse 18. If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. There is something that can make a man's prayer to not reach heaven. If I had cherished iniquity in my heart. So when we begin to pray tonight, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, in this miracle service, this addiction is over. I have to end it. Are we together? I burn all my MBs. I buy my phone and I spend all my MB watching nonsense. Naked photos, all kinds of things. No, it's a spirit. See, anything you cannot control is a spirit, including food. Don't think I'm just talking. I'm, I'm going to come. Everybody has a slice in this pie. There must be something that relates to you. I don't have a problem with women. Food. You can't fast. Because of food, many of us would rather remain in the same spiritual level forever. Let me tell you, gluttony is as bad as fornication. I hear what I'm saying. Yes. Yes. You can talk about true power that puts situations and circumstances in command and your entire life. Do you know there are people that eat whether or not they are hungry? Once they see it, the same way a man sees a woman and cannot resist her. You see food and you look, ah, whose own is this? You put one bones, you add another one. You are eating before, until it finishes. There's no rest. It's an urge. You need help. You need help. Are we together? And all kinds of variations of addictions. Those who sleep with little children alone, put a naked adult woman, they will pass as if they didn't see her. Children. Men and men. Women and women. My name is Joshua Selman. Let me tell you, if you don't deal with these things, you will never go far. You will rise up as usual. But ask Samson. I will arise as before. And all of a sudden his glory. God. Am I condemning you? No. Will I be quiet about it? No. Because you must receive something tonight. So that you will not be healed and delivered. And the demons even mock you. Before prayer they just jump out and wait for you. That's what happens to a lot of people. Is it not in your Bible? I'm going to share with you on that. When a spirit leaves a man, what does it do? It leaves him forever. The Bible says Satan departed from Jesus for a season. Came back again when there was another pressure. And Jesus started negotiating. Master, Father, if it be thy will, take this cup. Can we negotiate another way? But he overcame. He said, nevertheless, not my will. Hallelujah. Please, I want us to be sincere with ourselves tonight as we cry before God. I know what I've said is very uncomfortable to many of us, but this is the key. When you pray, you clear out that way. Satan does not like what I'm preaching. It takes a lot of courage to preach what I'm telling you. But that's the key. Are we together? But I think I'm okay. No, opportunity has not yet been created. So instead of sitting down to say, I hope my roommate is hearing. Uh -uh. There's no roommate. There's no, I hope my husband is hearing. God, I, God, apostle, God bless you. This stupid man, thank God he came for koinonia. I'm talking to you. There is no pointing fingers. You see, that spirit that exempts you from the word of God. Uh, that sense of self-righteousness that makes you feel, I am okay. Talk to Ejimi or talk to Kenny or promise is the same spirit that destroys people. 
I'd like you to lift up your voice in one minute. Koinonia, cry before the God of heaven and say, Lord, it must be broken. Addictions must be broken. I don't care what you read in the internet about them. That alcoholism must be broken. I can't keep destroying my body. Pornography. Masturbation. I need you, oh, I need you every hour. I need thee. Come, let's be now, my savior. I come to thee. I need thee, oh, I need thee every hour. Come bless me now, my Savior. I come. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus and righteousness. Pray. I've come to call that spirit a liar. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All oh, of the ground is sinking sand. All oh, of the ground is sinking sand. Hallelujah. Listen. Look at me. Some of you can do anything for money. If you must sleep with an animal for money, you would do it. For as long as there is money tied to it, you throw away your Christianity. If it's money, no problem. As long as you will give me money. Someone sent me a text. Uh, was it yesterday or day before yesterday? I was in the middle of a very serious, intense prayer time. And then his text came. And he said they wanted to give him a job. But they said he should give like advance. Like pay some money. So that they can process it. And I told him, I said, don't you do that. You cannot mix. You can't, if you are paid for it, where then is the place of God? Please don't say I'm not a Nigerian. I'm not a stupid person. I know what I'm saying. Whatever God cannot do in my life, oh, let nobody do it. He said, lest you will say I made Abraham rich. Who told you God is not able? You see, all these carnal things we keep doing, we edge God out. When it comes to real issues, we act as if God is not alive. Oh, if God cannot do it, let it not be done. No. I want you to pray and say, Lord, whatever I do not have discipline for, break it out of my life. Pray! Pray! Shabakataya! The secret for fire in a ministry. The secret for fire in a family. Is the secret for fire in a life. It's a painful reality. But it's a key that will take you high. spirit pornography you are a spirit gluttony you are a spirit smoking drinking grace tonight grace from the throne no excuses no excuses no excuses
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point on that. Listen. For many people, I have found out that we are not interested in paying the price to create the atmosphere. Everybody say atmosphere. Are we together? You are a brother, anybody, any sister can hop into your house any day, any time, anyhow. Are we together? Lie down on your bed loosely and carelessly. You don't care. 2 a.m. in the night, still in your house. What are you doing? We're in a relationship. Nonsense. You are not the first to get married. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You must create discipline. If you are friends with a roommate and the roommate is bringing boys all the time to your room, negotiate. And brother and sister, if that agreement, if you cannot reach a consensus like that, find a way of getting out of that place. Someone cannot be sleeping with a lady you are there watching. You will only watch for one month. I assure you. Atmospheres. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. There are things that can be discussed on phone. Discuss it on phone. When we were staying together, Ejimi will tell you, when we were staying together, as years ago, there was an unwritten rule. Let me tell you, these are some of the rules that helped us. God is my witness. My younger sister is here. My younger sister has never slept in my house till today. My blood younger sister. Only two people have stayed in my house. One Ejimi and one my younger brother the, the day he came. Am I stupid? No. Am I a fool? No. It's called atmosphere. It's the price for atmosphere. Someone comes to your room with visitors and says, please, there's a little birthday party. It looks like you are busy today. Can you give us the room? You thought they just celebrated birthday and drank beer and smoked and left. They left spirits. They left influences. Yes, I know what I'm saying. You get into that room, I assure you, it will take the grace of God for you to connect again. How about all kinds of petty movies? A lot of us believers have all kinds of compartments on our phone. There is compartment A, gospel. Gospel means anything that reminds you of heaven. And then there is the B part. When you want to socialize, look, choose ye this day. Whom you will serve. Choose you when. Otherwise. I don't care whether they dip you. In one gallon of oil. I assure you. You will fall down. You will stand up. Satan will be waiting for you there. You will have dreams. They will press nonsense out of you. Shout Jesus. Shout Abraham. Shout any name you know. Nothing will happen. That's what makes us powerless. He told Gideon, said, why have we not seen the miracles of our fathers? He said, take away the idols. My room cannot be a place for somebody to keep beer. Don't take it, but let me use your fridge to make it cold. What are you doing? It's exactly the same thing. Please pray in one minute and say, Lord, the price and the unashamedness to create an atmosphere. An atmosphere. Lift your voice. Pray. The price. My room. My room, my house, my office cannot be a place for rubbish. When they want to bribe, it's not in my office. The meeting will not be held in my office. When they want to fake a miracle, it will not be on my pulpit. Pray, pastors. Don't let any Tom, Dick and Harry just arise and hold the mic on your pulpit and do all kinds of jamborees. I paid the price to create the atmosphere to host the presence of God. Pray, Koinonia. It's part of the meeting. This is already someone's deliverance. Thank you.
Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, only, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Faithful, faithful, faithful. Faithful, faithful, faithful. Faithful, 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 faithful. Do this, and you will see the power of God in your life in a way that you'll be surprised. Imagine that you are sleeping, and all that is playing is a powerful prophecy. Let me tell you what will happen. You will continue listening to it in your dreams. I guarantee you. And that one is powerful because your body that limits the spirit is sleeping. You will access anointings. You will wake up under a strong presence. I know what I'm saying. Number two, let's hurry up. The second challenge or the second key, I think the rain is settled. So as many, if it's not an interruption, please um, arrange them outside. If they can still squeeze in, that's all right. Number two, let's hurry up, please. The reality of demon spirits and the character of their operation, write it down, is something you cannot ignore and prevail in this life. The reality, demon spirits, alongside the character of their operation. The Bible again and again cautions us and says that we should not be ignorant of his devices. Satan has a way he operates. There is a way, there is a system that Satan operates. Anybody who ignores the reality of demon spirits alongside an, an insight into the character of their operations will pay the price severely. Let's look at two scriptures very quickly. Luke chapter 4, please, verse 14 and 18. Media help us. Luke 4, 14 and 18. The Bible says Jesus took the scroll, right? He, the messianic prophecy. And um, go to verse 15, please. Next verse. 15. And he taught in their synagogues being glorified of all 16. You are reading down to 18. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the sabbath day and stood up for to read right what did he read then it was given to him it was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Esaias. and when he had opened the book he found a place where it was written the messianic prophecy 18 the spirit of the lord god is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to bind up the broken hearted, to preach what? Deliverance to the captives. There are people under captivity. The reality of demon spirits in our world and the fact that they influence people, Christians and non-believers alike should not be ignored. Are demons real? The Bible says so. Is Satan real? The Bible says so. Do they oppress people? Yes. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Behold I give you power. Authority. The word there is exousia. Behold I give you power. Luke 10 19. To tread upon serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. So there is the enemy and the enemy has a measure of power. Are we together? And he says, and nothing shall by any means harm you. Look at me, please. Look at me. Koinonia, look at me. Every time Jesus commissioned people, the first thing he told them to do was to cast out demons. Not heal the sick. Cast out demons. Right? When you read, um, let's look at a scripture. Mark, Mark 6. We'll read verse 7, then we'll run to 13. Quickly, Mark 6, 7. 
13. And he called unto him the 12. Read on please, he's projected. And did what? And began to send them forth two by two. He gave them power to do what? Unclean spirits. Unholy spirits. Spirits that are out of the influence of the Holy Spirit. They are called unclean spirits. They are everywhere like the air we breathe. They are responsible for the anger problem in people. Are we together? They are responsible for the barrenness in people. They are responsible for delay and retrogression. They are the ones who appear to you in dreams and sleep with you. They are the ones who appear and cause miscarriages. They are called unclean spirits. Now, regardless of the theological stratification, they are still spirits. The Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, right? But against what? Principalities. Uh -huh. Powers. Rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. They are all called unclean spirits. And there are three ways that their, their ministry or their life found expression in the earth. Number one is covenants. It's the most powerful way demon spirit advance their cause. Covenants. Number two is ignorance. Ignorance of the precepts and the principles of God. The light shines in darkness. So when there is no light, darkness remains. Are we together? And then number three, disobedience. 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 Demon spirits are real. A Christian cannot be possessed, but he sure can be influenced. Absolutely. Galatians 5, when you read from verse 16, this I say then, walk ye in the spirit and the Bible. He was talking to the Galatian church, people who had already encountered Christ. Are we together? But this is what he says. This I say then that you walk in the spirit so that you will not gratify what? The desires of the flesh. Then he says the flesh lusteth after the spirit. The spirit after the flesh. Two of them are consistently contending. What does that tell you? That you're a Christian does not mean that these demon spirits will not attempt to influence, manipulate or wage control over your life. There's nothing embarrassing when a Christian is delivered. The operation looks like possession, but it's not possession. And now this is the balance. I'm going to create a balance. Because there are all kinds of prophetic ministries. Because they do not have a sound word base. Right? And let me tell you something. Even the prophetic and the supernatural is limited by the recipient's understanding of the operation of the word. Are we together? I can be a genuine prophet of God, but because I do not have a sound understanding of scripture, I can look at this beautiful lady looking at me and see a spirit behind her. And based on my interpretation of that vision, I call her a witch. Are we together? And then I fabricate a strategy. And I say, Oga, the solution to dealing with this, your wife, seeing that she's a witch, is to leave her. So that is my... That is my advice based on my limitation. It may not be that I saw a wrong vision. But because my vision was not dealt with on the strength of the word of God. For correct interpretation. It's not enough to see. Understandest what thou readest. He was looking. He was not understanding. Demons are real. They are here in this place tonight. Are we together? They came with many people. They came with many families. Many well-meaning people carried them. Our job is to separate you from them. That's what deliverance is. It's a separation. Let me tell you something. In the most authentic definition, deliverance is salvation. Right? The most authentic, in its purest form, deliverance is salvation. It's a complete translation. So every other thing you do, is in support of that understanding. Demons are real. Let me tell you. You will be surprised to find out how many things have not been working in your life. And can be credited to the ministry of these wicked spirits in our lives. 
There were many things in my life that didn't used to work for a long time. I tried, I did all I knew to do. But when I realized that, you see, let me tell you something. Because demon spirits have an advantage, hear me. Because demon spirits have an advantage of the realm of the spirit. When you try to fight in the flesh, you will be defeated forever. Every time, at all times, regardless of what you try to do. Someone promises to help you. You go to bed, a stranger appears again. The person gets up in the morning and tells you, I can't remember telling you what I said. Please get out of my office. Something made them do so. The same way there is an anointing that can call a destiny helper into your life. And you say, sorry, I don't need any help again. You say, God told me to do it. I don't like you, but I have to do it. Because something, may that thing, whatever thing it is, it must come upon you today. Yeah. When men arise to make your life easy, Hallelujah. Demon spirits are real. Don't be embarrassed when you find out that these spirits are leaving you. Rejoice. And listen, please. Don't just fall down and stand up and check yourself and feel embarrassed and then go back. No. And by the way, it has nothing. Deliverance has nothing to do with falling down and manifesting it has everything to do with the word of god prevailing over your person and casting out every nonsense that is roaming around your life so you may be standing quietly and they are flying out of you flying out of your destiny the, when that i'm teaching you this so that you will know what to expect and know how to appropriate it so that when you leave this place you now expect that that door that refused to open now that you know a spirit caused it, you expect it to open. So you start saying in the name of Jesus, I expect favor. I expect favor. A woman who has not been able to give birth, has not been able to take in. Husband is well, wife is well, both of you go to the hospital, they say there's nothing wrong as far as they know. Alright, take in madam. She cannot take in. Plants don't need consultation to take in. Animals don't need consultation. As haphazard as they are, the law still works. Because demons are not interested in the animals. They are interested in human beings. They are interested in your destiny. That's why they will refuse that you will not get that child. But the devil is a liar tonight. Yeah. What of all those, all those lumps and all those nonsense that grow around your body? Lumps in your breast, lump in your stomach, lump every part movements around your body what do you think is called the holy spirit does not move in people in a foolish way the holy spirit is 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 he's an intelligent spirit he does not oppress people do you know there are people here who cannot sleep young people you you, you watch them and they're still awake because the moment they close their eyes is a nightmare Demons are real. The last key, number three, that the Lord will have us tonight to know. All of us must possess this if we really need result. Is your faith. Hmm. Your faith, your faith, your faith, your faith, your faith. Your faith. My faith reaches out to you and I believe your word Listen, let me tell you something about faith most of us our understanding about faith is just for reception but faith is also an instrument of defense Ephesians 6 verse 16 therefore holding forth the shield because there are times between prophecy and manifestation you will need to stand Faith becomes the weapon you use to shield yourself. That when another word comes and says, Kai, can you imagine Pastor Alpha, is this thing really working? And then the shield of faith, you lift it. And he said, no way. I know that my Redeemer liveth is working. If it's working, show me the evidence. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. He says, above all, taking the shield of what? Faith. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench, quench, quench the fiery darts of the enemy. Listen, 
Faith is the result of an understanding. Faith is the result of an understanding. It produces persuasion. It's from the Greek word pistis. Conviction based on an understanding. He says, but I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded. Just like I'm persuaded that someone's testimony will turn around. I mean, somebody's life will turn around tonight. I am persuaded. Listen, it's not just what you do that produces result, but the faith that backs what you do. The conviction that backs what you do. Faith is powerful. The Bible says by it, the elders obtained a good report. So if you need a good report, you will need that faith to obtain it tonight. And there are many of us who are trusting God for good reports. You want to change the doctor's report? You want to change every kind of nonsense report that the devil has brought? It will take faith. It will take faith. Conviction. Stay after time in the name of Jesus. Shout it everyone. Say in the name of Jesus. I believe in the power of God. I believe that nothing is impossible for God. And tonight. God. Through his spirit. Will birth my testimony. I believe that with all my heart. I came in. There were people in Abuja. My Bible uh, at the back of my Bible is full of all kinds of people's prayer requests. You cannot imagine people dropping their prayer requests. Apostle, please as you are going back, can we drop our prayer requests? All the way. Because there is a God that answers prayers. Please hear me, Koinonia. Tonight, like we prayed earlier on, I want you to get angry with the situation in your life. You see, I cannot make you tired of it. I can only encourage you. He said, woe to them who are at in Zion. The day you are tired, you will change. Let today be that day. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Lord, my time has come. Are you praying, Koinonia? Lord, this health thing, I can't remain sick forever. No. This SS genotype, this HIV, this cancer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just one more prayer point and then we'll begin to minister. I'd like you to say, Lord, grace to not doubt you tonight. Please lift your voice and pray. Don't be a doubter. Lord, I believe in you. Lord, I believe in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me add one more prayer point in our lives. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, whatever must come upon my life for me to move forward hold on let it come and whatever must leave me i have no loyalty to you i don't care where you came from tonight i part ways with you forever lift your voice and pray Every anointing that must land upon my life today. Every grace. Every spirit. Every.
every dimension tonight you must come upon my life and everything that must leave me I'm tired of any luggage upon my destiny Koinoni are you praying those online make sure you are praying right where you are at your home so wherever you are streaming from hallelujah 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 one of the graces i'm trusting god to come upon our life is grace for accelerated advancement listen listen there are many of us our pace of movement is slow you can't look at your life and say a b c has happened within this time it's not a good testimony i'd like you to pray and say lord i must move oh i must move there must be advancement the overflows make sure you are praying god is sharing you where you are Yes, oh God, I'm parting ways forever. hallelujah hallelujah listen listen you must contend with prophecy oh this bad luck upon my life must leave i was not cursed like that even if it's a cause it must go are you hearing what i'm saying it's a war unto them who are this in zion there is enough function tonight to deliver the result you desire except you are not interested if you truly are interested and you are angry enough Tonight is not the time to spectate and pinch and gist. Anybody does that kind of thing for you tonight, know that the spirit is using that person. You can't come here and waste your time. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for you. I'm about to speak. Please, I want you to pray. Mention every negative thing that you know has happened, patterns in your life that you know must change and say, God arise for me tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, it must go over my family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. 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 Before God deals with our lives, we are going to be praying first and foremost that God will deal with our families. See, let me tell you something. It's not your fault that you came from that family. But it's your fault if you allow what came from there to destroy you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe what I'm saying, oh Koinonia. Believe what I'm saying. I love you too much to not lie to you. There are, there are ties and strongholds that are stopping people from rising. Lift your hands, everybody. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. 
you overcome Every high thing must come down You wear the victor's crown You overcome Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken I want to pray. Now listen. Don't get too used to the fact that it's just about speaking and then people fall under the anointing and come be serious while prayers are going. Because it is at the word of God they respond. They are listening to me, I'm speaking. But until the command is given, there is nothing to confirm. I want to pray. Many of you will be very surprised. Open up your spirit. It's time for God to visit you and visit your families. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, please. My God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit pointed arrows. Listen. Pointed arrows. Pointed arrows. And on those arrows, I see like papers placed on the arrows containing the names of people names of families names of territories that's what the Lord is showing me right now and we're going to pray Listen, the power of God is going to come very strongly upon people it's, it's not just you but your family are we together and once that happens know that the time has come you pray it and declare that deliverance Lift your hands. I want to pray now. Father, you brought us here to change lives, change testimonies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is giving me a very crazy instruction. Just lift your left hand. Be stupid. I've started my stupidity. Just follow me quietly. Just lift your left hand up to God and let me do the speaking. You don't have to say anything. Please, all those who I'm going to speak to now that the power of God comes on them, let's begin to have them outside. <sighs> Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now. My God. I'm seeing so many people. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just responding to the spirit. Lord, you ask us to lift our left hands up. Whatever that means. There are people. I see fire right now. It's going to begin to come on people. Lord, the moment that comes on their family. Let there be massive deliverances. At the count of four. That will happen now. One. Two. Three. Three. Four, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out right now, inside, outside. I'm seeing the spirit of God. There's fire moving to families. Please, let's save time. Shabbat At the word of the Lord, I place the word of the Lord upon that situation of witchcraft. Inside, outside, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. I come with a word of prophecy. I prophesy as I've been commanded. Miracles. Deliverances. For families. Enough is enough, oh God. Bring them. There are so many people outside. So many people outside. All the overflows. I see miracles. It's like fire. It's like fire. Hallelujah. Keep your hands down. I'm seeing fire. And it's going to come upon the heads of people. And the Lord is saying it is still the deliverance. Lord, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Right now, all over the congregation. I prophesy it like fire. I see like an eruption. A volcanic eruption coming on the heads of people. The heads of people. 
Sheketekata. Where you are, the fire will meet you there. Where you are, where you are. The enemy has done this. We command every havoc. We command every havoc. Kaba Tayata. I tell you, I see deliverance for many families. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit. Causing the tragedies. In my family. Be exposed now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. The light shines in the darkness. The light shines in the darkness. As you are praying, the power of God will come upon you. As you are praying, the power of God will come upon you. Be exposed. The spirits eating of finances, eating of joy, eating of peace. Kapatatata, ekerato soto basiata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I see written on this pulpit altars. And I want to pray. An altar is a platform erected by men that grants access to spiritual operations. Altars. 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 At the count of seven, I tell you many people, this is not just families now. One, two, three, four, get ready. Five, six, seven, right now. Right now, right now, right now. Altars, catch fire. Altars, catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Shake it, take a poro sotoba. Lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. The Lord is asking me to call situations. The moment I call them, all those who are victims of it, the power of God will come upon them. Please, we are going to be fast. Right now, I pray the spirit of failure upon people. I'm seeing it. Lord, wherever they are, right now, at the count of three, let there be an exposition. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Failure, failure, failure. Causing failure in lives. Failure in destinies. Failure in ministries. Failure in business. Failure in academics. Every form of failure. Fire is coming on it right now. Fire is coming on it right now. Inside, outside. No, you can't stand it. It's your deliverance. It's your word. It's your prophecy. It's your word. That's why you came. Failure. Lift your hands, everybody. I'm seeing chains. And the Lord is saying, let delay leave my people. That's what I'm hearing. Lord, 
where are those whose lives have been under one spot inside and outside at the count of three i like you to shout jesus delay is leaving now one two three go 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 delay 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 of all kinds of all kinds Harato soto peketesh. Delay. Delay. All kinds of delay. All kinds of delay. All kinds of delay. Be broken now. Now. Let her go in the name of Jesus. Let her go. I break that chain now, now, now. That chain of delay, that chain of delay is broken over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. God is breaking delay. Listen. Hallelujah. I've prayed this prayer in this place before. And the Lord is asking me to pray it again. That the destinies of men can be exchanged. So that you are walking. But you are not living your destiny. It's like you are living another person's life. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Please take this prayer seriously. It will do wonders in your life. Lift your hands. Inside and outside. And you watch what will happen now. Lord, I pray. My God, I'm telling you, all I'm seeing in this place is fire. Any man here, any woman whose destiny has been exchanged so that the life you are living is not your blueprint right now. Let the exchange, let there be another exchange, another exchange, another exchange. The power of God is coming on people right now. Right now, right now, release your destiny. Release that mother's destiny now. Release that mother's destiny now. My goodness. It's your destiny. It's your destiny. You can't leave another person's script. Every witchcraft, every manipulation. I cause it now. I cause it now. I cause it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray for people with strange movements in their body. I tell you, I feel fire. It's like people are literally bathing in fire. Strange movements. I want to pray. There are many ladies, many mothers under this category. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Every stranger, there is a lady, you feel a physical snake, physical snake moving on your body. But right now, in Jesus' name, at the count of three, fire from the throne. Fire from the throne. I command those spirits roaming around the bodies of God's people. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Go now. Leave their bodies. Strange objects. Strange objects. Strange objects. Strange objects. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please sisters lift your hands. I want to pray. A very powerful prayer for our sisters. The devil will prefer. To get one woman. To ten men. 
Because a woman is a gate in the realm of the spirit. I tell you, no power will stand. Something is about to jump out of somebody's life. Ay, ay, ay. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Yeah. Break every chain. Let her go right now. Your destiny must open up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Break every chain. Lift your hands, sisters. There are many ladies here under several oppressions. That's why many things are not working. But sisters, as surely as the Lord lives, at the count of three, I'd like you to shout Jesus. You will be surprised to see what will happen to you. Are you ready? One, two, three. Deliverance for you right now. Deliverance. Help them, my goodness. Please help them. Gates. 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 Be broken. Gates. Be broken. Kapataya. Gates. Be broken. Gates. Be broken. Gates. Be broken. I'm praying it again. Lift your hands. Ay, ay, ay. Every devil that came here with you must let you go. Lift your hands. There are sisters. There is already a programming on your destiny to fail. A programming to be barren. Who is this God that can look into time? Wherever they are, at the count of three, may the power of God fish them out. One, two, three. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. I open your destiny. Every lady, every sister, you are a gate. You are a gate in the realm of the spirit. Mighty deliverance. Mighty breakthrough, mighty breakthrough, mighty breakthrough is over, is over, is over by the power of the Holy Ghost. Over, over, over. Break every chain. Break every chain. Yeah. Break every chain. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray for the brothers. Lift your hands. Listen, let me tell you. There is a spirit that makes men not to be productive. Hear me. Is a, is, is a mighty deliverance that will happen to many men right now. Pay attention. There are men who are just going old. There's nothing happening in their lives. It's not your fault. There are keys that have been withheld from you. But that thief must be exposed. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Ancestry. That's the first thing we are dealing with the brothers. Brothers, lift your hands. I want to pray. Many of you will be surprised to see what happens. Every spirit of ancestry, every spirit of inheritance over any brother here, stopping his advancement at the count of three, some of you will be very surprised. That fire will come on you. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Take it. That fire. Help them, please. Help them. My goodness. Brothers are coming under this unction. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. Help them. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. 
I cause that spirit hallelujah God does this all the time and I don't know why God is doing this again <laughs> ah If he did it before, he can do it again. Listen, I see something strange happening. Strange happening. Strange happening in the spirit. And I'm seeing the spirit of the Lord moving. And God is saying he's visiting Eastern Ants. Eastern and evil people. That's what I'm seeing. There are altars that need to be broken. Please pay attention. I'm about to pray right now. Wherever they are, always he will do it. You are from the east. Get set. Be sensitive. Come on. You shouldn't be doing that. Eastern and Lord, wherever they are, it will come like fire on you. You will be surprised. To see what will happen to you now. The spirit of God goes to the east. The spirit of God goes to the east. And is bringing deliverance. Deliverance. Strange deliverance. Evil people. Strange deliverance. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Is visiting your soil. Visiting your foundation. Visiting your soil. If it did it before. He can do it again. Same God back then. Same God right now. If he did it before, Abia, 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 Abia said, Shaka Tabarata, Abia, Abia, the Spirit of God is moving. Across Abia, miracles breaking foundations. If he did it before, he can do it again. Same God back then. Hallelujah. Many of you wonder why God does these things. There are signs and wonders. He steps into, you will see the testimonies that will come from this thing. Strange visitations. Lift your hands, everybody. Joshua Selman. God, please. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm walking in the spirit and I see a map. And the Lord is asking me to jump upon it. And I see Kaduna. Southern Kaduna. That's what I see. Right now, Lord, at your word, move. Southern Kaduna. Visiting men and women. That's what the Spirit of God is saying. I speak it. I place the word of God upon it. Lord, go to that region. Right now, Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna. From Saminaka to Zonkua. Everywhere. Move. Let the power of God touch people. Liberty for territories. Liberty for territories. No matter where you are, I'm telling you, Southern Kaduna, fire is falling. Fire is falling upon your soil. Upon your soil. Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna, that's what I see. Southern Kaduna. Connected to Southern Kaduna, there is a miracle happening. Altars in southern Kaduna, I come against you by this apostolic and prophetic mantle. Leave God's people now. Yeah, 
Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you this operation of the Spirit. I found it working in my life is powerful. God just calls a territory, and everyone is like a digital spiritual system. It's not something you just do by guesswork. It's the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God. The Spirit of God. God is still touching Kaduna people. I'm still hearing it in my spirit. God is still touching Kaduna people. There's no escape. Any family tied to any altar comes under fire. Any Kaduna family married to Kaduna living in Kaduna state Hallelujah. Please lift your hands while still pray. I want to pray for students now. Something miraculous will happen here now. I want to pray for students because I see conspiracy to short circuit people's performances. I'm going to pray. But there is a God in heaven with an all-seeing eye. And there is an unction he can release. I'm going to pray. Listen, let me tell you. You will be surprised to hear the testimonies that will come. The way God is working this night is very supernatural. If the power of God comes upon you, I want you to know that an angel is doing something over your result. Just hear what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. I'm speaking by the Spirit. Father, there are people whose results need to be worked upon divinely. And where are they? I see almost 45 people. Right now at the count of three. One. Results. Two. Three. Let the angels begin to move. As they move, it will affect you. As the power of God touches you, your result is being worked upon. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Inside and outside. Results, results. Carry over us. Receiving the mercy of God. Receiving the mercy of God. God upgrading CGPS. Upgrading CGPS. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. CGPS. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Supernaturally. By the creative power of prophecy. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everything that has refused to let you smile. Hear me. That joy and laughter will not come out of your mouth. I stand tonight in the name of Jesus. I bring that thing under fire. I bring it under fire. I bring it under fire. Shake a ta ta ta. I bring it under fire. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Just lift your hands and be silent if you can. A miracle is happening. A miracle is happening. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing letters in the spirit. And these are employment letters. Hold on. Just keep your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. You will be surprised. Many of you for you and for your loved ones. The Lord is just asking. Just lift your hands. Father, at least 17 people inside outside there are up to five people online supernatural jobs may the angels of breakthrough take this word to the people right now right now right now 
right now receive it receive those letters in the spirit receive it in the spirit receive it in the spirit receive it in the spirit for you for your loved ones i don't care what they read i don't care what they have we give them jobs by the power of the holy ghost Hallelujah. I see at least four people. Three of them are ladies in the congregation. Your mothers are due for promotion. But they've done everything they know to do. As I'm speaking right now. An anointing will come upon you. To signify what he's doing to them. Lord go ahead. Locate them. Promotion. I force it. I force it now. I force that promotion. Take it. Carry it for your mothers. Whoever is sitting on their promotion. Whoever is sitting on their promotion. The judgment of God. We're going to pray for the sick, but um, there are two women I want to pray for here. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Now I know there are many people. Listen, there are two women particularly. One of them, the anointing of please, no standing for wife, no standing for anybody. If you are not the person, um, sit down. If you are not married, don't come here. Praise God. Please. The two women by themselves. I'm going to pray. That lady, oh, let me let me let me pray for her. That devil, let her go. Don't disturb us. Don't waste our time. Out! Out now. Out in the name of Jesus. I curse you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus. You are living. Release her family. Release her destiny right now. The noise maker, out you go and don't waste our time in Jesus' name. I set her free in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please listen. We are going to pray for those two women. I don't know if there are here, the two of them here. There's one of them. Um, I'm seeing one of them. The anointing of the spirit is going to come upon her. I don't know who that person is. But there's one. Please, do we have such people? We have to be fast. If I mention your case once, we give you one minute. There's no response. We have to move so that God can help us, please. Except if they are outside there, then that's all right. The married women that need the fruit of the womb, we have to pray for them right now. Praise the Lord. How many of us are trusting God for healing miracles in our bodies? Let me see your hands. I know many of our mothers are in this category. No matter what the case is, who is stand up? Come, brother. The power of God will come upon that person. Please make sure they are married, though. Please stand up, stand up, madam. It's okay, um, madam. Madam, it's okay. Please. Madam, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. How many years have you been married? 20 years. 20 years. No child. Look at me. 20 years. Madam, look at me. Look at me. It's okay. 20 years of marriage. If, if that woman gave birth to a child by now, that's the other person, right? Wariness. Why am I seeing her? I'm seeing chains around her stomach. You must remove it now. Remove it now. You are a devil of darkness. You hear my voice. Take off that chains now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's no such thing as barrenness. It's nonsense. When a spirit sits on your stomach, there's no way a child will come. If you like, do whatever. You go to India. 
and come back. You only waste money. But there is a God. Madam, please look at me. I want to pray for you. Are you here with your husband? You keep there for program. I'm a student. And you decided to. Where is your husband? He's in Kafancha. We okay. reside in Kafancha. Okay, look at me, madam. Do you believe God can give you a child? I believe that's why I came. It's okay, it's okay, madam. Look at me. Look at me, madam. Place your hand on your stomach. I want to pray. How many of us believe this woman will come and stand and testify? If you are doubting this, you've not been in Koinonia. Madam, look at me. I want you to shout as loud as you can. I receive. Just shout it. I receive. This God, ba. Let me tell you. That is that is not working in your life does not mean it's not available. I've told you this thing. You have to believe there are dimensions in God. This woman you see will come and stand here with her child. Why is she here, madam? Why are you here? You are married for how many years? Give her the mic. How many years? Ten years. The anointing is on you. Lay your hands on your stomach. Look at me, madam. Shout, I receive, if you believe. I receive. <laughs> There's something leaving your body now. Let it go. You are a devil. Let her go right now. Something is coming out of your stomach. That's what I'm saying. That's what has stopped your barrenness. Go and have your child. In the name of Jesus. Go and have your child. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please let me pray. Madam, make sure you people return with your testimonies. Want to pray. Is your husband here? Husband, please come, sir. I want to pray for you. Marriage is between two people, not three people. I look in the spirit and I'm seeing three people. Somebody is a stranger. In this equation. Please come sir. I'm seeing a third person in the spirit. Refusing to let this marriage work. I'm seeing a third person in the realm of the spirit. Refusing to let this marriage work. The devil is a liar. We are going to pray. Please hold your hands together. Just in one of your hands. Yes I want to pray. Please put your hand on your Watch what happens to you. <sighs> There is a name, oh. There is a name. There is a name. Lift them. Lift them. Lift them. Lift them. Lift them. There is a name. Let her go. Strangers. Kabataya. What God has joined together. I'm prophesying. That's why I said, hold your hands. Anybody whose hand is not held physically should not be in this equation. Therefore, I prophesy. Any stranger. Release what you are putting in her stomach now. I'm seeing a snake. That's what I see in the spirit. I'm looking and I'm seeing a serpent. In the name of Jesus, release her now. Release her now. Kaparatakaya. Marriage was done legally. Therefore, you are an illegal occupant. Release her now. Let there be miracle children. Miracle children. I'm seeing a lady in the crowd. You are standing in for your sister who has been married for five years. Who is that? I want to pray for that person. Five years. Your sister has been married five years. No child. No child. You are the one? Where is she? What's her name? Deborah. Where is she? She's in Kenya. How many years? Five years. No child. No child. My brother, six years. And you, the devil, wants to give you four years. Who will cancel it. Destiny changer. You are the destiny changer. Will you come and change my destiny? My destiny today.
Yourself. Who is this? Hold on, hold on. Leave them, leave them. It's okay. Victor, leave her. It's okay. Calm down. How many years? Nine years. Huh? Nine years. Where is she? She's in other embouchure. Kigia Mata. That is how we imbue. Amen. Why are you here, my dear? For how many years? Yes. Three years. Her mm. husband wants a boy, she wants a girl. Who will win? Did you hear what I said? I said her husband wants a boy, she wants a girl. Who will win? The man is the head of the family. See? This thing is being done by an anointing. It's not, it's not, it's not joke. It's an anointing. Look at me. Listen, every lady, place your hand on your womb. I want to pray for you. Just, just place your hand and leave it there. Hold on, not not for the brothers. Brothers, you don't have a womb. Just calm down. I know I'm praying for the sisters. That's why I'm praying. Because you see, listen, just follow what I'm doing. You will be surprised to see what will happen. The Bible, the Bible does not allow you to test whether you are pregnant first before you marry. Is that true? So there is no way you know. You just marry and then find out it's a disaster. For a man, a family to pay the price, pay dowry, and get married, and then there's that nonsense. So lay your hands. I want to pray for you. Let's attack it in advance. If you care for the prayer, lay your hands. For some of you, God is saving you years of misery. I'm seeing a number 21, and this is at least 21 people and families involved. Father, visit them now. Visit them now. Visit them now. I'm praying a miracle is happening to your womb. Visit them now. Visit them now. Visit them now. Right now, everything that wants to plant barrenness in your stomach, for every lady here and those watching online, I command it to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. I command it to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Hold that baby. You, Ejimi, please give her that child. Just hold her so she doesn't fall. Just hold that baby. You are holding this child as a prophetic symbolism for your sister, for you when you get married, and for every other person, and for two other people who are in the congregation. This prophecy is connecting them. Where are they, oh God? Where are they, oh God? The anointing of the Spirit will locate them now. Right now, two of them in the congregation for this miracle. For this miracle. For this miracle. Daddy, sir, please let me talk to you. Just give a few minutes. You and the madam close to you. Mommy, please come. You are an usher, but you are praying. Come, let God answer your prayers. This lady is talking to the Lord. What was the issue? It's my sister. You are asking the Lord to do what? Bless her. She has put to bed feet time, but none of them is alive. Because I'm seeing a spirit. As soon as she's giving birth, this is like an antelope. It eats the children. As in, it's the child sometimes most of the children will grow nine months you give birth then they will last for only a few minutes and they will die hold my hands where is she don't, don't cry don't cry where is she what's her name 
Ladi. Ladi will speak to you. Lay your hand on your stomach. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare that this, this, this frustration is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. That is how I want to pray for you. Mama, good evening, ma. Please stand up. Who is the stubborn child that you want God to touch? Lift his picture up. Victor, Victor, Victor. This is your number one prayer. The one you want to marry. Where is the person? The one you want a job for that graduated. Job, job. The one that graduated. The graduate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Henry. Henry. Mama, yes, this is to tell you that God knows your situation. I hear what I'm saying. Yes, sir. This boy needs to be prayed for. So yes. that this boy, so that they will not go and lock him in police station. Yeah? This I don't know who the boy is, but Very stubborn, sir. That's what I'm saying, madam. It's okay. You are here for God to visit you. Amen. Amen. Who is Nonso? Nonso. Nonso. I'm hearing the name Nonso. We are going to pray. Nonso. Mama. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Eh? Very soon. Solomon, he want to marry. He's he planning for his wedding, sir. Okay, it's alright. We'll, we'll pray for him. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mama, I pray for you. You came here expecting the power of God to touch you. Exactly. Huh? Yes, sir. Mama, do you want the pain in your body to stop? Yes, sir. You wake yes, up in the Lord. morning and there's severe pain yes, in your Lord. back. Sir, you know about this thing. I know, sir. True. And the Lord is going to do a great miracle for Mama. Amen. Because, Mama, I'm seeing you. You can't wash for long. Yes, sir. You bend down to wash, and your back is pain. Exactly. Thank you, Father. In the I name of that. Jesus Christ, the Lord who has seen you is going to do a miracle Amen. for you. I command by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Help, Mama. Thank you, in Father. Jesus' name. Thank you. Please, don't, who is this? Eh? No, so, my friend, are you not so? Help the boy, his trouser is removing. Who is that? Who brought him out? Who should help him now? <laughs> Sir, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? I'm the proprietor of his school, Pastor, I'm a civil engineer by training. You own a school? Yes, sir. Primary school? Nursery and primary. Nursery and primary? Yes, sir. You've been afraid to start the secondary school? Seriously, sir. Is that true? I've been afraid. Because what is happening in the primary, up and down, up and down, people are taking their children out of your school. And they're owing money. And they're owing money. And you are trusting God for a miracle. Because you too, you need a lot of money now. As you are standing here like this, you need money. Very correct, sir. And this money is much. Don't collect loan. Don't collect loan. Loan is a way to die. Don't collect loan. Sir, I want to pray for you. One of the things you are going to start seeing as you minister the word is breakthrough. You will start seeing strange breakthroughs. Amen. In the lives of people. Amen. And then we want to pray for your school, sir. Things are going down. Yes. What you need is not money. What you need is very qualified teachers who are really willing to teach. You. Because the people there, they will come today, few months, they want to leave. Yes, yes. And when they, you know, they want to, I will have to pray for you. The devil is a liar. Please lift your hands, sir. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the anointing for speed come upon you, sir. Supernatural speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Grace and speed for you. Mama, God bless you. Please, who is this? Please, if we have not called your case, just be patient. We are going to pray for the sick now. Why is Mama here? 
Mommy, please come. Huh? Your son's name is Nonso. What's your name? Nonso. From where? Madam State. You are a student here? Dark. Dark. Who is Shidi? I'm hearing a name Shidi. 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 Let me pray for the person now. Mama, I'm going to pray for you. Uh, what you need, this one is not, I'm not even getting any word for your son or so. What God is saying, I should prophesy to you, is that he's bringing restoration to your life. God is saying, I should tell you, you see that song that I sang at the beginning of the meeting? Yes, we are Kare. I'm speaking how, sir, it's finished. That's what God is saying, I should tell you. That is going to bring restoration to your life. Supernatural restoration right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hold my hands. Honestly, I'm not getting any prophetic word for you. But in the name of Jesus, may God step in and do a miracle for you. Come, come and get it something. You need to pray. Huh? You need academic breakthrough. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. Please, why are these people here? Huh? John. You are serving in Brazil. Have you started serving? Yes. In the place where? In the state of school. Let's pray for you. Father, give him favor. As you go, let there be favor in Jesus' name. Amen. You are what? John. John. Yes. From where? Saria. I said, Sam, Father John. But since you have come out, let me pray for you. Yeah? Lay your hands on your chest. You love God? Hi. John. John, look at me. Please. God can give you a new beginning. You hear what I'm saying? Please, when I make altar call, John, run and join them. Huh? I'm going to pray for you. But that statement you made is not true. Oh God, help John. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because, you see, you have to be serious with God. Oh God, help John. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. She's older than she actually is. Huh? And there is a there is there is a medical condition. This is a feminine thing that I'm seeing that is responsible for this. Um can I change your house, sir? Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, Turen Shima, you, you understand English? I'm seeing happy birthday on top of you, and I'm seeing 50 years. How old are you? Shakaran Kina. I born me on 66. 66, 1966. How old is that? This woman is 50, but she's looking like 70. The devil is a liar. Huh? I'm seeing something. It's not something I can say in the open, but you need to be healed. Madam, this thing started happening to you since soon you were about 17 years. Abune Afara Miki. Yes. About 17 years this thing started. This is a serious woman issue. This is women talk. Father, we cancel this nonsense. In the name of Jesus Christ, it must live in Jesus' name. Beginning from today, experience the goodness of God in Jesus' name. May the Lord favor you too in Jesus' name. We want to pray for the sick now. Please, this is our miracle service. Bear with us. We have to deal with these things. You see that there are so many, there are so many situations. We are praying. Everyone, you can be seated if you can or stand. We are soon going to be done. But I want us to pray. Are we together? Say after me, inside and outside, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please say it like you are serious. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare. that every closed gate standing before my destiny under this corporate anointing swing open now lift your voice and begin to pray please we are not just whiling away time pray participate in the prayer some of us that's what is that's what is affecting our lives every gate every gate every gate every gate every gate Every day. 
gate over my finances. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. I will still prophesy it upon your life. Say in the name of Jesus. I call forth. By the power of prayer. Every helper. Who will give me access. To resources. To opportunities. And to new levels. I call them into my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. This is a powerful prayer. It's a very powerful prayer. Hallelujah. 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 I'd like you to prophesy. And say in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. As I enter these ember months, I declare that the mystery of divine preservation is upon my life. No death, no accident, no bad news. Lift your voice and cancel bad news. Make sure you are praying. Some of you are just looking. Pray. It's a very serious prayer point. No bad news. I speak upon my life the mystery of divine exemption
Rise up on your feet, please. Everybody inside, outside. Don't be tired. You're working out your salvation with fear and trembling. Before we pray on the request, I'd like you to pray and say, In the name of Jesus. How about now? Let's be serious. In the name of Jesus. September, September October, October November, November December, December hear, my hear my voice I speak to you, speak to you. Deliver, to deliver to my life only blessings, only blessings. No, pain, no pain no sorrow no, sorrow. no, regrets. no regrets go ahead and prophesy release power to your future Release power to September. You shut your mouth, you shut your destiny. Release power to September. Release power to October. Release power to November. December. No plane crash. No bus crash. No appropriate. No terrorism. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare. A covering. Over me. And my family members. Wherever they are. The seal of the blood. Exempts them from strategy. Listen. I shared some months ago. Hold on. I shared some months ago. A vision that the Lord showed me. I'm not one person who will stand and say. I saw this. Sometimes I see these things. I just pray. But it was upon my spirit and I said it. Remember I spoke about the month of September. Everything you see us do here. Is prophetic. As you speak it looks like you are joking. But you are releasing power to your future. He said, declares thou that he might be justified. Has thou commanded thy morning? You don't sit down and it delivers everything to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Say in the name of Jesus. The seal of the blood is upon my life and my family members. Therefore, every spirit of death and loss and disaster must pass over my life and my family lift your voice and pray no not upon my life not upon my loved ones they are sealed by the mystery of the blood no accident no accident no death no obituary no plane crash Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to turn your request to testimonies. Go ahead. All those online, follow us. We are praying. You submitted your requests and we are praying. Every request. Oh God, you have produced testimonies. Shaba katata. To the God that answers prayers. To the God that answers prayers. To the God that answers prayers. Let there be miracles. Testimonies. Breakthroughs. Turn around impossible situations, oh God. Let the barren come back to children. Let the poor return rich. Let the captive be set free. Let sinners come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Let your prayers be delivered. Let the sick be healed. Let jobless people return with jobs. Building pro 
projects completed. Spiritual lives inspired. Pray, pray. I'm going to prophesy upon this request and I want us to agree with a resounding amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare, I use this as a point of contact. Lord, there are so many requests here representing the challenges in people's lives. Some for jobs, some for marriages, some for children. Some for breakthroughs, some for study um, scholarships, others for help, others for reconciliation, others for souls, others for financial prosperity and breakthrough, others for restoration, some for deliverance, others for healing. Lord, I pray in the name that is above all names, we have a covenant of answered prayers with you. Therefore, Lord, arise as a mighty man and turn every prayer request to a testimony in the name of Jesus Lord we pray for all those who have sent their requests on Facebook, on Twitter on any other platform Lord in the name of Jesus give them strange visitations strange visitations from tonight strange visitations and Lord, for every request that made it to this altar, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray, answer everyone in the name of Jesus. Turn every request to a testimony in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our time is gone. I really apologize. Let me prophesy over our lives. Do you know why prophecy is very powerful? Most of the testimonies that you hear, listen, most of the testimonies that you hear are as a result of these prophetic words. Are we together? There are needs that God may not reveal and time may not permit to be able to extensively deal with. However, prophecy is powerful. It says in Numbers chapter 6 how that the priest will bless them and speak upon their life. There is something about a prophetic word coming upon your life. Those who know this, that is their edge in the spirit, have received it and it has produced dramatic results in their lives. Those who are careless about it like they are about many other things, never really get to receive anything. Let me tell you, even if it's an impartation, even if it's a dimension of breakthrough, for as long as you stepped your feet here and for all the thousands following us online, connect. Connect. Distance is no barrier in the spirit. It says you have turned my mourning into dancing and you have turned my sorrow into joy. I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Joy like you have never experienced from January till now. Experience it in the name of Jesus. Joy like you have never experienced. Experience it in the name of Jesus. Hear me. I speak to your hands. Whoever is not doing anything here. Because God said be fruitful. I don't care whether it's a job, a business. I don't care whether you're a student, a graduate, a retiree. Whoever is having an idle hand between now and September miracle service. I put something in your hand. I put something in your hand. I put something in your hand in the name of Jesus. Not something that will mock you. Something that will bring results. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I put pressure on your destiny helpers. I put pressure on them. May they respond to you. I put pressure on their spirits. May they arise and help you. 
May they arise and help you. Hallelujah. Any situation in your life that is a recurrent decimal, it comes as though the breakthrough is coming, then the situation repeats itself. I prophesy no more. No more. No more. No more. In the name of Jesus, no more. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Listen. Someone is speaking here like Mary and saying, how shall these things be? Lord, I, is it true that you will turn my life? I stand in the name of Jesus and I pray. A turn around that will surprise you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. A dramatic turn around. A dramatic turn around. Hallelujah. 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 In the last one month of my life, God has brought breakthroughs and things to my life that I have always believed God. But there is something God can do in your life that will make you fear Him. Not just believe Him. I prophesy to someone here. In the name that is above all names. That flight in the spirit that God can take a man and bring acceleration and not just surprise you but even make you fear. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for everyone in business here and it's no diving. Things are not happening. You turn everywhere. You've done everything you know to do. You need the prophetic. I add that prophetic dimension to your business. I add that prophetic dimension to your business. Every dream that is still on paper. No finances. No grace to bring it out of paper. You have been writing things for donkey years. But the grace to put it at work. I declare between now and next next month miracle service bring evidence bring evidence bring evidence bring results bring results in the name of Jesus anyone called jobless in this place that you have done everything to do including giving money to people and they have not brought jobs to you I don't know how God will do it but this mountain mover that can shake every mountain, I pray, may he give you not just a job, a miracle job. Miracle job. Hallelujah. Every family here that is stuck in one place, you try to rise, something brings you down. You try to rise, something brings you down. Now I prophesy to you the grace for rising. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace for rising. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace for rising. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Every embargo of bad luck upon your life. It works for others until it gets to your point And people change their mind. I declare in the name of Jesus. In a way you have never seen favor and help. May you experience that throughout the month of September. Hallelujah. A dimension of anointing. A dimension of wisdom. That you have never seen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive wisdom in the name of Jesus. Receive wisdom in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you. Everything that needs to be broken in your life. Habits and encumbrances that tie you down. I command that today is their burial. Today is their burial. Today is their burial. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy for someone who has never stood here to testify. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has stopped you from climbing this altar to testify. I curse that spirit right now. I curse that spirit right now. I curse that spirit right now. 
I curse that spirit right now. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards me. I want to speak to you. Everything that makes money run away from your hands. Money has a spirit. You have obeyed kingdom laws, but this thing is not just coming. You will try and labor and labor and nothing will come. These hands that are stretched towards me, as I stretch my hands back to you, by the mystery of divine supply, may you hold something you have never held in your life before. May you hold something you have never held in your life before. May you hold an amount you have never held in your life before. Hallelujah. Two more prayers and we are done. I pray for your spiritual life. Everything that is alive grows. If you are not growing spiritually, something is wrong. And the measure, there are two indices to measure your spiritual growth. Number one, your degree of conformity to the image of the Christ. Number two, your comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. Alongside their operation. How to make them produce consistently. I pray for you this month. As we round up this month into the next month. Keys that your hands have never held spiritually. Hold them right now in Jesus name. Keys, mysteries that you have not known or mysteries you have had and have not been able to handle may God give it to you in the name of Jesus make Hallelujah. sure you are praying insist insist Lord my story must change you must address this issue of concern that anointing must come upon my life today I must encounter fire for real That yoke of bondage must fall away from my destiny. That captivity over my family must die tonight. That devil oppressing my family must return to hell today. Pray. something about listen listen please look up let me tell you something about insisting in the spirit you will never get anything in the spirit if you treat it with laxity are you getting my point now the bible says right from the days of john the baptist the kingdom suffers violence he said the violent it takes a level of aggression when i want things in the spirit i press for them with every sense of seriousness and focus the problem is that some of us want certain things but we are, we are embarrassed to be desperate about it forget about if you really want something in the spirit you must cry out you must mean it one more time say father tonight is my night lift your voice and pray lord i appreciate other testimonies but you must open the gate of my destiny tonight Make sure you are praying. You are amazing, dear Lord. 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 Oh, 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 oh,
Mighty the Lord, you are all powerful, the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 When Kaduna this morning, please listen. And I had a very serious vision. And I want to share it with us. I tell you the truth. An unusual anointing has come upon this house. Not, not just today. It's a new season that has opened. Those who have the eyes to see and the ears to hear can tap into it. In this vision, I was... We were traveling out of the country just like we travel with other people please listen and our passports did not have visas on them yet and so we're entering what was looking like both an airport and an immigration office this was in the vision and as soon as we entered i was even concerned for other called me and then stamped visa nothing when she stamped the visa, then she stamped the visa for the other people too. And you know, was encouraging us. And the woman looked at me and was smiling. And she said, any time go out, just call me. And I will stamp their visas. Listen, listen. She said, do you have any other people who want to go out? I told her, I said, in, that's in the vision. I said, I said, I have a ministry. And I know that there are many people who want to come out. And she said, when they come, I can't remember. Just come straight to her. Listen, a passport is the only authorization to move to another boundary. If this was not just about traveling out at all, it's a mystery. I knew that this was consistent with what God. A passport is a token in the spirit, it's a sign, it's a symbol of your borders being expanded. Because without a passport, you are not authorized to move to another territory. Jabez prayed and said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. And enlarge my coast something will fall upon your life tonight listen listen something will fall upon your life tonight and it will give you unusual access to strange dimensions strange territories strange levels levels of influence even physical territories some of you your ministries will stretch from one border one dimension businesses and and all kinds of endeavors there are families that are here there are territories god is sending you to all of a sudden the money to build the house in another territory comes by the spirit of god there is a passport you come with the passport and he stamps the visa there is no man who is denied access to go to another country when there is a visa and i saw it when i got out of the vision i was amazed i kept thinking about that thing i couldn't sleep again till morning i had to take out time and pray it into my own life and say that's right you are amazing then. you are amazing you are amazing you are amazing nobody lives like you nobody blesses like you nobody heals like you you are amazing oh 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 for us tonight but before i teach i want us to pray this vision that i saw listen not just for koinonia i like you to lift your voice and blast in the spirit and say that authorization no boundary will stop me it's not a vision for me it's a vision for all of us lift your voice and pray no limitations access access 
access to unusual graces access to unusual dimension access to unusual power access to unusual lifting access to unusual mysteries access to unusual illumination access to unusual prosperity access to unusual grace access to unusual influence Are you praying tonight? Access to unusual honor. Access to borders of influence. Territories. Hallelujah. Please be seated if you can. You are amazing. See, I'm going to teach us briefly now. But as I teach, there will be all kinds of impartations going on. Listen. Listen. Tonight is, is a night of strong deliverance and impartation. As you sit under this anointing, no matter how far you are, inside and outside, many things will begin to happen to you. Because there is a shift that must happen to you. There is, there is a change, a translation that must happen to you. Tonight's encounter is a fire encounter. Many of you will burn physically from beginning to the end of this service. That's the language of deliverance. Fire. It will happen to many of you as I teach. Literal physical fire. That's the language tonight. Burning every chaff is fire that makes ice to become water. Is fire that makes water to become vapor. It takes fire for you to live where you are. Please be seated if you can. Mighty things are already happening. James chapter 2. You are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. Nobody heals like you. Nobody lifts like you. You are amazing. James chapter 2. Especially welcome all our guests who have come from different places. You will never go back the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. God did not bring you here to waste your time. By the grace of God, we're a very serious ministry. You will never come here and find your time wasted. If you want to joke and jump around and waste time, this is not the place. There is an urgency. The fire here will never let your destiny remain the same. James chapter 2. Let's read this from verse. Just one verse and I'll establish a few things that the Lord put in my spirit. And then we'll pray. Last week the Lord told me tonight to be a night of deliverance. Great deliverance. 26. James 2 verse 26. Very interesting scripture. I want to use it to establish a few things. 
I've shared it here before, but I just want us to pay attention. It says, for as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Apostle James was teaching the church something. Please listen. He was teaching the church how that faith would require corresponding action for it to work and produce results. Right? And so he began to teach that faith is spiritual, but it's the action. The action is compared to a body and the faith is compared to a spirit. And while he began to teach us that mystery, he veered off in an attempt to use a simile to help us understand. He opened up a revelation to us and he said, just as the body without spirit in it, right? That the body without a spirit component is dead. That means if you ever see anybody living, it is because there is a spirit. Are we together now? It is the presence of a spirit in a body that makes that body living. The body, this body is only a container. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, don't be deceived because you have worn this body in a long time. That's why you don't say you are an eye. You say you have eyes. Your spirit has an eye that it uses to see. Is that not true? You don't see with your eyes. You see through your eyes. And so, the Bible is saying the spirit without a body is dead. Right? Let me use this boy. Come, come, come. Yes, let me use you. Let's clap for him. It's my name's sake. It's our school of ministry, baby. Now, watch this. As handsome and visionary as this boy is extract the spirit out of him and in one minute this body will fall down lifeless and you will you will run away from it the same body i'm hugging right now nobody goes to the mortuary to hug a body you once kissed that body that was on a mortuary is that true the only reason why you were attracted to it was because there was a spirit when you saw a beautiful lady as a gentleman you liked her you thought you just liked the body let her die and let's see where the love goes to all of a sudden are you understanding what i'm saying now that means anything you see in the physical whether a human body or any real matter it is useless until there is a spirit component to it are you getting what i'm saying the life giving factor to any material thing is the spirit dimension are you getting what i'm saying now watch this if this boy sleeps in the night and all of a sudden he gets up and his hand can no longer walk this disability is a body there is a spirit that made it happen are you getting what i'm saying now biology may give us an intelligent explanation medicine but is saying this hand refused to walk because a spirit made it so the same way a spirit can give a body life a spirit can kill a body the body executes the will of the spirit that is at work or influencing it i told you that the body is only an instrument of execution don't forget this if your spirit wants to move from here to here it makes your body to move it so it looks like you are moving but it is your spirit man that is moving that's the reason why when you extract the spirit this body can no longer move it can't talk it can't breathe still has a heart still has lungs still has has liver but it cannot pump look at a chicken you see a chicken running around pick it up cut the neck in five minutes the same body is lying there you didn't remove anything you just extracted the spirit component in that chicken and all of a sudden it becomes lifeless are we together now watch this for every physical manifestation there is a spiritual initiation for every physical manifestation good or bad there is a spiritual the body cannot initiate anything the body cannot initiate success. 
the body cannot initiate failure the body only becomes an instrument of execution listen if you learn this you will be delivered tonight that this body is only a slave to the most dominant spirit that influences it this is the first revelation the apostle is giving us that a body you see what you see physically right now to you you think this is the ministry but in the realm of the spirit there is a spiritual component that makes this happen are you hearing what i'm saying when you see someone healed or blessed or changed is is beyond what your eyes is seeing there is a spirit component that initiates that when a man gets up and tries to build a house and all he has is cement and that man is ready for frustration until he can bring the spirit component that will make that material project to work are you getting what i'm saying now anybody without a spirit will die a business without a spirit must die are you getting what i'm saying now a job without a spirit must die witches and wizards know this only believers do not know it there is no man no unbeliever no witch no no traditionalist will go and do anything physical without due consultation to the realm of the spirit because they understand that the physical is only an execution this is what david knew so when he saw goliath roaring i said forget about this guy this is a body without a spirit are you getting the point goliath was roaring and other people were crying and he said uh -uh, this is those who know will not be scared at all that roar and he said goliath i'm going to defeat you and goliath said am i a dog at least respect me you come to me with sling and david was trying to tell him mr man do you not know that the size of my body or my instrument is inconsequential for as long as there is a spirit backing and he says who is this uncircumcised circumcision is your key to attracting partnership from the realm of the spirit we are dealt with that right and i told you that your circumcision in the new testament is your tithe when joshua circumcised the nation of israel at once an angel appeared to him and he came to give him strategy he said i am i've come as a captain in other words he was also fighting he was a warrior but he was doing it spiritually How many pastors are trying to do ministry without the spirit component speaking english without the spirit component how many people want breakthrough want revivals no the body without the spirit is dead the second thing i want you to know is that the bible shows us that more than one spirit can influence a body that means a body can be a slave to the influences of more than one spirit for instance your human spirit and the holy spirit although they become one at new birth but it's only an example that this body that is a slave a mechanism for execution of the will of the spirit can be under multiple influences please listen to me we see that again and again in the bible we see peter being influenced by the spirit of god and being influenced by a demon spirit one moment the body is speaking thou art christ the son of the living god another moment jesus is rebuking from peter get thee behind me and he says satan, uh, peter satan has desired to sift you is that not true the bible tells us that when judas ate with jesus satan entered him so it was not just judas that got up and went out listen listen there is no man no man who does anything under the sun by pure bodily initiation it's not true it doesn't exist the body cannot initiate anything it only executes every initiation of anything comes from the realm of the spirit whether your human spirit the holy spirit a demon spirit that means the key 
to bondage and the key to liberty is not locked up in the physical it's locked up in the spirit since the body is an inevitable slave to whatever spirit watch this as i'm talking to you right now you are seeing a body moving and talking is that not true but you see this body well, don't mind this suit on it it's just to 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 look decent it's just for leadership and organization that's why we put a cloth for this body but the real person talking is the spirit man this body is only executing it are you getting me now and so if my body submits through my human spirit to the holy spirit because the human spirit is the vehicle for submission so the holy spirit in partnership with my human spirit can find expression if god wants to touch ken he now flows through my body and i speak it god is touching ken and i authorize the holy spirit through my body are you getting what i'm saying now and then he touches ken now watch this it is easy to know what spirit is influencing a man by what kind of physical activities are being executed are you getting what i'm saying now you get my teaching when you have a father who gets up and carries bottle no the body is only responding to a spirit the man thinks he's angry but there is a spirit that made him carry that bottle when he wipes your head with that bottle and breaks it and then he turns back and regrets he only executed the will of his spirit are you getting what i'm saying now when somebody sees a biro that is not his own or money that is not your own and you hide and you steal it no you did not steal you were made to steal a spirit influenced your body are you getting what i'm saying now when a lady gets up and cannot see a man and sit down in one place only following men all around don't just say this lady is a bad girl you are a stupid girl no her body is helplessly under the influence of a spirit flogging her is a waste of time because as soon as while you are flogging her the spirit jumps out have you seen armed robbers when they are about to shoot them you see all of them stand like this as if they were not the ones that stole the spirits are hanging around in that firing squad waiting for the next victim they will land on and part of the onlookers who are looking with great pity the spirit lands on one of them and he goes home only to begin to execute something he does not understand are you getting the point now yes it is a spirit that will influence you into saying yes to a man who you know is a married man with his wife and he says i love you i love you you didn't even know when you said yes to you you thought you were just in love no you are a slave to a spirit that is leading you to perdition are you getting me human beings are not free until we ascertain that the only influence over their life is the holy spirit that becomes the key to walking in righteousness that becomes the key to walking based on the word of god because the holy spirit comes as a witness to the word how many parents how many families are under yokes of bondage and will only execute so you enter an exam hall the same spirit that can make you of quick intelligence now another spirit makes you blank out you know you read you know you did all you did i went to minister somewhere and um i heard a very touch touching testimony of a gentleman very intelligent and they called him you know for an interview a job interview and when he went there the panelists were happy they looked at his cv and they said yes can you tell us your name talk to us about yourself and why you think we should give you this job that gentleman stood there and he could not remember his name 
this is somebody who went to school no it's not that he could not remember his name the body a spirit shot the flow are you getting what i'm saying now you are Yahweh. You are seated on the throne. Me marama. He marama. He marama. You are seated on. So when you see somebody well behaved, no, he's not well behaved. His spirit has submitted to the Holy Spirit and the body is finding expression. Listen, you can never call an unbeliever well behaved. You are joking. No. The spirit to trouble him is just on retreat. Let it come. And you will watch that body helplessly under the influence. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now watch this. The same way a spirit can make a body fail, that's how the spirit can make any other physical thing fail. A spirit can come upon a building project and make it fail. Are you together? This, a spirit can come upon a man's CV and that CV becomes the body that that spirit is wearing and that CV starts executing what the spirit looks like. And anywhere you take that CV to, it cannot give you a job. It's not because the CV is not good. There is an influence that is producing that failure. A spirit can come upon the marital destiny of a lady. She may be born again tongue-talking. But a spirit can also influence dimensions of our lives. So that you will see a lady who loves God, very beautiful lady, loves God, but the moment a man looks at her and loves her, that spirit creates an impression, a bad impression. Listen, there are spirits upon ministries. Many of them may never listen and humble themselves to learn and grow. There are spirits that come upon ministries. Whoever hears about that ministry will misunderstand it. Have you seen ministries like that? consistently be misunderstood it's a spirit bishop oyedeko shared with us how that this thing i mean this was a great man of god the church in kaduna was not growing people will come the next thing they will run away they were carrying all kinds of stories and then they were fasting with the brethren and the lord told him come out and he came out and he looked and he saw a dark cloud over the church a real church a true church the church of the lord jesus christ with people who are born again and filled with the holy spirit are we following now and he said this is the dark cloud that is stopping people from coming to your church it's making people to misunderstand what you are doing and he commanded that dark cloud and it rolled away and bam leaving faith open till tomorrow we are here tonight to challenge every force are you hearing what I'm saying? There are four things that Jesus did in his ministry. And any man who does not do these four things is not doing ministry like Jesus. Number one, Jesus preached the gospel. To preach means to declare. To preach means to proclaim. To preach means to announce. Are we together? Number two, Jesus taught don't say I'm not a teacher. Any man who can understand can teach. Because teaching is the litmus test to show that you have understood a thing. Anything you have understood, you can teach it. If you cannot teach it, you have not gotten it. So Jesus taught. Number three, Jesus healed the sick. Don't forget this. Don't say I'm not called into the healing ministry. Jesus healed the sick. Number four, Jesus delivered the oppressed. He casted out devils. Please, let's be very careful so that in a bid to demonstrate spiritual maturity, we do not come to a point where we get up and start. Um, I, now, I know that I've been criticized already again and again, so I want you to listen to me. 
there are all kinds of teachings flying in the body of Christ if you know me very well you know that I hate imbalance but it is very important that the scope the entire scope of the message Jesus gave the church be preached Jesus casted out devils and in Mark chapter 16 verse 15 he said this he said this sign shall follow them that believe in my name they shall cast out devils I'm not talking of deliverance that people do all kinds of madness and all of that but for you to ignore the fact that wrong spirits that influence people's lives need to be challenged is an error are you getting me now it's what the Bible calls old wives fables teachings that come and look as a consolation in the church but keep them down and keep them poor these spirits influence our lives and produce the outcomes that we see in our lives when you see an ordinary man anointed no it's not just the body that is anointed the body is only a channel are you getting me for the anointing to find expression the anointing is within the anointing is spiritual you came tonight with prayer requests you came tonight with challenges i want you to know there is a spirit behind that challenge every challenge in any man's life is a sign that there are demon spirits standing that's not a sign that you don't have faith it's a sign that you are in the world the bible says the whole world lies in wickedness hallelujah do you believe what i'm teaching you true freedom then does not just become jumping around and shouting i am free when we can obviously see that there is a, a spirit influencing you how many angry pastors do you know they love god they jump around but you do something they can wind their hand and slap you because you see you can claim you are a man of god you can claim you are whatever but it does not stop those spirits from influencing you listen the influence of spirits over a man's life is a contention it takes light and revelation and the anointing for you to stand in a position where the Holy Spirit is the only spirit that is authorized to find expression in your human spirit and ultimately through your body. But there are many people under the influence of many spirits and they will not agree. Their bodies are helplessly executing masturbation, yet they love God. Their bodies are helplessly executing pornography. Their bodies are helplessly executing all kinds of things. Then we try to create messages to say it doesn't matter. Yo, it matters. Don't let anyone fool you. It does. It does matter. Then you lie down in the night to sleep. And here comes a gentleman or a gentle lady. Sleeps with you. Some of you stand up with bedwetting, you stand up with every experience and you just pretend that nothing happened. I, I pretend, I didn't see anything. Why are you deceiving? Ah, nothing happened, I'm okay. And you get up and everybody who would have helped you in the day no longer is able to help you. And you come back and say, no, no, no. I, I think there's something I'm not claiming. Look, calm down and let the power of God set you free or tell lies and join the crowd of liars with all kinds of struggles in the secret place who will not open up their hearts for true liberty the bible says now the lord is that spirit he said and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty i was preaching i was in ministry yet demons were oppressing me shamelessly my own was so bad i would see them physically lie down to sleep and here they come marching gallantly into my room and oppress me they could oppress me so much i can hear people talking in the physical right a lady gets up and has an issue of blood one month two months three months losing blood losing your life no 
forget about the physical losing of the blood there is a spirit that losing of the blood is is a type of the manifestation of a spirit somewhere you get up a very healthy lady and all of a sudden you find out that there's lump in your breast and you just laugh and say it happens um, when you eat in, in restaurants too much when you eat fried foods lump will come out look at look at the explanation that you are convinced and, and the spirits are saying i like this generation i like the way science is hiding us from them a man goes to bed healthy and wakes up in the morning and one leg cannot lift again I think the protocol department were there when one small boy did something during counseling. I think the last time we had counseling. One woman that we prayed for during one of the miracle services. So they came for counseling. When they came for counseling, I looked at the boy. The mother was so slim. And they were saying that the boy was in occult and all of that. And I looked at the boy. And I said, are you in occult? The boy said, yes. I said, who tied your mother? He said, me. I said, why now? He said, they asked him to do it. I said, go on, loser. Who was there? You were there, Lawrence. I mean, this guy saw wonders that will not end. The boy just went, sat down on the ground, carried mama's legs, and started doing it like this. Then later, he would say, remain small. He's about to finish. When the boy finished, he got up. Now, you would have, you would have seen that and said, this small boy, but this boy is only a slave to a spirit. When a child of five years old will not let the mother rest, that coconut head is not the physical head. There is a, there is a spirit that makes that head strong and stubborn. Are we together now? Slapping the child in anger is only wasting your time. There is a spirit that can influence your life and bad luck follows you. You become a magnet. You never magnetize anything good. If car is to jam people, you are the one it will jam. If police is to gather some people as suspects, it's just when they are catching people, you just come in. They say, follow them. You say, no, 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 no. I attend Koinonia. They say, go and explain in the police station. Now, you may laugh about it. You may laugh about it. Every bad thing happens to you. Everyone laughs in the class, but the lecturer will ask you to stand up and say, why did you laugh? As if you are the only person and you were at the back. Listen. That lecturer himself may be a victim to a spirit. He's joining your heads together. And so by coming to his office, you now say, you, I, I don't you smile. What is your name? Now you are entered another level of, of trouble. Humans, victims to spirits. That's what is happening in the earth. I feel very sad when I see people. They get up and they get up in the morning and they do not know. Listen, they do not know that your body is only an instrument of execution. There is a spirit that is driving you. When you see favor coming to a man, no, there is a spirit that makes it happen. There is an operation. There is an anointing. Are you getting me now? You can just be sitting down and then God will speak to you. Carry 10,000 naira and give a marker. Why didn't God say somebody should give to you? There is something. It's not just that, okay, God has pity. No, 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 no. If you understand this, you will know how easy it is to walk in victory. You don't focus on this physical body. You focus on what spirit and what atmosphere influences it. Because that's what determines the possibilities. There are people who almost never pay for anything. When you are going to buy something, that's when somebody comes and says, Do you know I was thinking about you this morning? And you tell the person, I'm not surprised. Because the activity of the Holy Spirit manifesting as different things, favor, the blessing, whatever it is, orchestrate events together for you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? As a pastor, the day the anointing is strong upon your life, that's the day everybody who can help you will not come for the program. You stand and preach your life out and everybody say, Kai, we have seen what, what God is doing through you and uh, Pastor Femi, we really appreciate. Uh, by God's grace, 
next convention will not forget you i assure you and you stand up and go but someone else the day he's coming somebody is about to travel and mysteriously his car may spoil and he'll say let me attend this program and he comes and says god has been asking me to sow into a man this preacher is that man you think it just happens the only thing that grows in a farm without being planted is called what everything of worth is planted are you getting what i'm saying favor does not just come a ministry does not just grow anointing doesn't just come revelation doesn't just come honor doesn't just come a man doesn't just become sick a man doesn't just become healed was it not in your bible listen that the trouble around daniel's life was the spirit of the medis and the persians is that not true it was happening physically through human beings but it was a spirit because he was under the influence of the 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 medis and the persians it was a spirit that made men to serve idols and now a man came called daniel and he was praying and his prayer was judging those spirits and so they could not influence the king and he made the king like daniel are you getting me now and the king's liking daniel made him to subscribe to the god of daniel and those spirits said no we have to find a way of bringing enmity between the king and daniel so one day you get up and somebody comes you you thought a neighbor just entered your house and jammed your head you and your destiny helper and left it's not just that a neighbor came a spirit visited your compound using human vessels jammed the head of two people and left all of you together are you getting what i'm saying now a husband and a wife lovely people romeo and juliet the marriage is going well all of a sudden a spirit lands in that house and then something happens a woman who has been minding her business all of a sudden she looks at the text and doesn't see it properly and she thinks that she saw i love you to another woman she carries it and lands the phone on the man's head only to find out that it was maybe to their daughter or a spiritual daughter or something and now enmity starts and a lot of people sit down and say you see uh, just love yourself just manage like that wait and see the part two of that movie the holy spirit i mean the, the demon spirit will come again into the house something will happen that demon spirit will start making that man to fail in his job are you getting the point now he will return back home with the anger of his job that spirit the same spirit will start making the woman angry and be impatient so her impatience is jamming with his failure in the office what does it produce divorce that's the name at the end of it the apostle and the prophet that should rise from that family no longer has parents and the boy who would have loved church who would have been faithful in church is now forced to follow bad gangs you just thought it was a physical acting the body without a spirit is dead every time you see things around your life not working the way god orchestrated don't sit down and discuss get into the place of prayer immediately there is war happening in the heavenlies there is a clash of spirits they are claiming your body listen do you know that when moses died watch this when michael came to carry the body of moses he found satan too satan wanted to use the body of moses enter it and resurrect as moses are you getting the point now resurrect as moses and start bringing error to people and when he needed the body desperately and michael said no 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 i'm not going to drag with you the lord rebuke you how many people saw your mother in a dream a spirit carried the face of your innocent mother landed it in the dream of her enemy and she got up and said i knew it i knew it joshua selman's mother is a witch this one i saw it the woman came with a knife 
how many of our mothers and fathers have been called witches and wizards and and this is what many prophets see and because they do not have discernment are you getting the point now they now say i saw who some this and that and that and that is it not in your bible when a a, a diviner invokes the supposed spirit of samuel to prophesy i refuse any other spirit from influencing my life I, I, I don't have time for that i cannot be a victim for the the failure that is orchestrated look at joe one more scripture to prove this to you joe a man who loved god and eschewed evil but the bible says a meeting happened between spirits in the heavens job was not there oh. a man just gets up in the morning and they have concluded a meeting about you your children are on the way thunder strikes them you just finish furnishing your house thunder strikes it your cattle die mysteriously notice all the deaths that happened there was one one people left to come and testify is that a testimony job i'm the only one who is alive this is what happened and then the meeting was held again and he said let's touch his body ah. so a meeting can happen watch this let's destroy this family and they conclude it you snore your way through the morning wake up and that's the last time you know peace in a long time you are a victim your body is only a victim tonight this is the this is the theme of this miracle service let me tell you when these spirits clear out of the way you will be shocked to see the doors that will open for you all of a sudden you who nobody would call you you will receive a call the last time you spoke with that person was five years he did just call you the holy ghost made it happen because there was a spirit that was stopping that call every time they want to think about you a distraction happens and you remain in that suffering and when you come to us men of god we say it's okay don't worry things will change one day it go better that, that, that. No, no 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 that's why i told you you must insist tonight you must insist you are mighty on your throne two things there are three things that give demon spirits access to people and families. I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. Three things. Number one, covenants. 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 You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Oh, sing. Oh, fountains of the deep, Hadosh, Hadosh, you are mighty on your throne. America as a nation, listen, a man can wear the inner wares of a woman, watch this, and be moving on the street, and that man returns back and blessings keep following him a very stupid man but good things are happening in his life let me tell you why it's because of the covenant of the fathers there were people who signed an agreement and said lord we give this nation to you anyone who comes under the umbrella of this nation is authorized to walk in that blessing and so a woman a man can go for plastic surgery to become a woman and yet come out alive in nigeria you try to even just operate somebody's ear and he would die was it the knife that killed him are the doctor so daft let me tell you what our forefathers left with us ready this is what they left they went to mountains valleys regions listen and all kinds of ancestry we can fake it and pretend listen i'm a new creation person i've read the pauline epistles are you getting what i'm saying i understand the grace of god and the new creation realities very well but i know god and i understand his ways 
Are you following me now? Please come, two people, very quickly. So that I need to, no, no, sit down, Pastor Fami. I promise you can come. Come, stand here, stand here. Watch this. In my example, this guy is a thief. This guy is a wrong occupant. Watch this. If this is my handkerchief, and Ken comes to quickly steal it, the moment he hears the, my footsteps, what will he do? He will run away because he's a what? Thief. But if somebody comes and meets promise and say, promise, give me 10 naira, I will give you this handkerchief. And promise gives him 10 naira and he gave him the handkerchief. Is there a contract there? Is there a covenant there? If he sees me coming, will he refuse? Because you see, the realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So, our forefathers went to idols and they said, protect our wives. Make the plants bring crops for us. In response, we will hold festivals every time. In response, we will donate children to you. In response, they, it was not their fault. They did it because Christianity had not come to Nigeria. Now watch this. When Samuel Ajayi Crowder and many other Christians came, they brought the gospel of salvation, not the mysteries of the kingdom. Are you getting me? They brought the gospel and we salute them. But that was not enough. The understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom that would bring liberty was not taught. So even they themselves died. I traveled to, we were in Gombe. One time Gombe State. And we're going to Yerima's village to go and greet his family. And on our way there, there was a rock like a cap. And they were telling us the story there. That the people used to live there. That that rock used to open physically. There was an invocation that would be made on it and it would open. And people would enter inside the rock and hide during times of war. And this is what they said. The last person to enter, you are the one that is donated to that rock. The last person to come out, you are also donated to the rock. Are we together now? And that rock has been faithful. Has been what? The same way our forefathers had bumper harvest. Even where there was no rain, mysteriously the crops grew. These spirits kept their part of the contract. All of a sudden, some missionaries just found themselves into the village and they said, we brought good news and they died in three days. The spirit killed them immediately and said, you are joking, good news of what? And then a few people received it. And then when they received it, they convinced themselves that because they are born again, the territory was now changed. I watched a documentary, brothers and sisters, in Fiji Island. Fiji Island is an island, small island, but they love God now. Something happened. There were missionaries who came to that place. And they so beat the missionaries and oppressed them. Before the missionaries died, they cursed the land. They cursed the land and the people and they died. And the people thought it did not matter. One by one, the fish in the river disappeared mysteriously. When hunger hit the people from the government down, they said something is wrong. And God began to reveal to the church around there that look, there are, there are apostolic activities that must happen in this land if the territory must be cleansed. This is what they did. They began to pray. And then supernaturally, they found the grandchildren of the missionaries. Listen to me. They brought the grandchildren of the missionaries to the city. They loved them and the children blessed the land and said, we release you from the cause of our fathers. It's, it's a documentary. In less than one week, they saw fish, crops started growing. Fiji Island changed at once. There are so many families that are seated. Part of the terms of the contract is that if you don't bow down to that idol you will never build a house you will never marry contract sealed now you came that you are born again and you are moving around 35 37 no marriage the other one too is coming when you meet pastors they say no problem are you not born again just believe marriage is going the ones that get married no children 
mysteriously you are seeing the same patterns happen because covenants are powerful that was the very same principle jesus used to redeem man covenants covenants are you getting what i'm saying now covenants are powerful until they are broken the spirits the custodian of those covenants are authorized to still begin to execute the terms on the of the covenants even on the victims please believe what i'm saying i prayed for too many people i've ministered to too many people i'm not telling you stories i'm telling you what i was free from number two ignorance ignorance authorizes demon spirits to buffet people psalm 82 verse 5 bless you guys thank you they know not neither will they understand they crop in darkness confusion ignorance and as a result the earth is out of course but have i not said verse 6 here god and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes the bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge ignorance ignorance of the mysteries of the kingdom ignorance of the principles of the kingdom ignorance of the keys to true liberty in the spirit number three disobedience personal disobedience Deuteronomy when you read I think chapter 28 or so it shall come to pass it says if thou shalt diligently hearken to these things to do and observe all that I command you this day that you shall be exalted above all nations and the blessing shall come upon you and overtake you is tied to your obedience the Bible says having the readiness to judge every disobedience when your obedience is perfected when it is complete disobedience authorizes the devil to buffet our lives don't let anybody lie to you that when you disobey God nothing happens no it's not about God doing it it's about the laws in the spirit they will not change they didn't start with the Old Testament those laws predate our dispensation are we together now so tonight I want you to look at your life very carefully especially for those of us who have come have you not seen traces of the influence of darkness in one area or the other that does not mean you are not born again that does not mean you are not serious with God but it's time tonight on behalf of you and your family members to rise up and say no way i come by the blood i come to challenge these things there are many of us who have never received a testimony of any good thing that anybody has done in your life somebody buys a recharge card to give you it disappears physically that's that's the extent to which this thing is working against you have you seen people like that a guy tells a lady i love you car will jam him two hours later just for trying to verbalize that i'm considering marrying you car jams him his friend now comes and says Tor, since my friend has come me too i love you something happens let me tell you the meaning of that it puts a stigma on you and your family are you getting me now and they say these people there is death have you not seen lands that people bought land to build house why do you think we dedicate properties why do you think we pour oil on land i know a man who bought a property and went there to stroll in the night and received a slap in the in the in the land true true story because the spirit there does not care whether you paid for it gave him a slap when listen when i was in secondary school we were in a temporal site before they moved us to the, pump, the permanent site. That temporal site used to be a hospital. Are you getting the point? Where the place that was like the mortuary 
was part of the place that was converted to our kitchen i tell you many students had encounters with strange beings you are entering to ease yourself and you will just hear sounds sounds that can give you a headache for a long time i remember our school getting ultimate power so that we we'll watch as their own strategy to deliver us from this this nonsense many students were initiated into occultism because of that but tonight we come in the name of the lord the captain of the army that this situation in your life must end i sat back there fighting tears when all the people were sharing their testimonies a testimony is simply what happens when the holy spirit becomes the only influence in a man's life any other spirit must create problems tonight daddy mommy sisters and brothers there is need to deal with certain things in our lives i saw poverty in my family as if we offended god coming from a pastor's family didn't change my family background your name can be solomon you will remain poor until what needs to be addressed be addressed that's why i told you tonight will be a night of massive deliverance listen as we begin to pray many of you who are sick will all of a sudden turn and find out that the sickness has gone really when you understand this you will know what a miracle is a miracle is what happens when the spirit that is causing that ailment departs this is what jesus did to the woman who was bound he looked at her in the spirit and he saw that a spirit had tied her for 18 years and he said woman thou art loose loose he didn't say thou art healed he said thou art loose the moment the spirit left he laid hands on her and straightened the physical body and there she went remember that madman at gathering that was an evangelist in a cave tearing himself into pieces the moment the spirits heard that jesus was coming they were waiting for him at the other side hallelujah mighty on your throne mighty on your throne i'll never forget one time i was praying praying seriously i was in the spirit and i had a vision i saw that there is a tree that is close to where i stay and i didn't see that tree again i just saw a great beast like like a like a being the tail was a snake the eyes were big like human head imagine this head now like an eye two of them one here one here and the spirit was looking at me with fierce anger and all he told me is so you think you can bring god's people into prosperity and then it left that was it mighty on your throne mighty on your throne that's the reason why every time satan wants to destroy you the devil will now cause you to disrespect that person so your mother may be an anointed woman and you will fight and tear and say over my dead body for you to pray with me and satan will say amen let's go and then the oppression starts because your pride and your arrogance will not allow you to go to the person and say help me tonight we are going to cry to the king of kings i don't know if you came for this miracle service especially for those who are family people here you should never go back the same you see the results of people 4.8 5 points they have always had that ability even when they were getting one point it's a spirit that makes that happen don't let anyone fool you you are not so daft human beings were created intelligent when you enter an exam hall and you write nonsense and come out with zero and smile and say it's just because i didn't read well is that really true how many of you watch film twice to explain it you sit down and watch a three hour film once and you can come out and recite that film completely with the hair of the actor's wife and that was you didn't read for it yet you spent six months or five months reading for one course and then at the end of it you come and fail it and get nonsense and you keep convincing yourself it's just that i didn't get it 
it is the reason why you can read a novel of 1000 pages but a lifetime you can't read half of the bible because there is a spirit stopping you if this was a novel some of us would say take this i will bring it for you next week friday and you will exhaust it but from the day you were born the day you were born till today you have not read up to one third of the bible one time you cried and prayed and fasted and started and three days later remember when you carried your devotional and did balance brought forward you started reading from two weeks back as a sign of repentance after you read it you now threw it away because you cannot help yourself in the flesh it takes the anointing of the spirit that's why he sends carpenters that's why he puts miracle services like this so that you can come under the influence of god's power how about genotype issues ss you get up and find out you are ss or as do you know the bible never mentions the issue of ss or as are you aware of that that thing was a technology that was fabricated by satan to stop people from getting married you see a beautiful lady who has a prophet in her womb to come and then one spirit just brings one one demonic report called ss and they say sorry we can't join you because you are going to kill your children for that devil is a liar in this place tonight i'm challenging you because when we rise we are going to pray the miracles will start as we pray you've got to be angry with yourself and say no enough is enough enough is enough we are come to mount zion where there is an innumerable company of angels where there is the blood of sprinkling the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than any covenant that speaketh better things than any ordinance the good news is that jesus has paid the price our job is to enforce that victory are you getting my point we enforce that victory by engaging the mysteries of the kingdom that bring for liberty we are going to pray that that power that has tied our destinies down it must let us go same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me yeah. your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me sing it two more times with faith in your heart same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me jump up on your feet and we sing it one more time same power Conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. One more time with faith in your spirit. Say, power that conquered the grave. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Listen, deliverance therefore is a separation. It's the spiritual process that experientially brings the separation between you and the forces and influences. The spirits that attempt to influence your life. 
the legal separation brothers and sisters when that happens to you then you will see gates open by themselves when that happens to you you will see realms of favor all these things people pray on you must challenge those spirits you must challenge those spirits on behalf of yourself and your family and God is ready for us tonight I tell you God is ready for us tonight lift your voice in one minute and bless him for this word the body without a spirit is dead the body without a spirit is dead now I realize that there is a spiritual component to the challenges in my life lift your voice and thank him for this revelation Lord I now realize that there is a spirit component to the failure in my family there is a spirit component to the retrogression in my life there is a spirit component to my lack of admission there is a spirit component to my lack of marriage there is a spirit component to the poverty in my family are you praying tonight let the dissatisfaction rise from you Oh, come on, tonight is your night of liberty. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Just the voices. Sing it from your heart. Same power. That conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. The power that can challenge any altar, the power that can challenge any force of witchcraft, any generational cause. One more time, sing it. That conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. The earth lives in me, lives in me. Same power, same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love, your love, same. Your love. hallelujah lift up your voice right now and mention everything you know that is a tragic event in your life and challenge it say it must stop tonight lift your voice oh come on koinonia you should be praying Mandalatata challenge the spirit challenge the spirit Behind failures, challenge the spirit. Behind marital delays, challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit of death from your family. Challenge the spirit of death. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit. He must let you go tonight. He must let you go tonight. Those outside, I hope you are praying. This is your destiny tonight. Break it, 
the spirit the body without a spirit is dead hallelujah 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 look up please your failure without the spirit that sponsors it is dead barrenness without the spirit that sponsors it is dead are you getting what i'm saying the key to liberty is to affect the spirit that initiates that thing for a body without a spirit is dead any cause without a spirit backing it is dead it's null and voice any pronouncement any enchantment without a spirit is dead therefore i want you to lift your voice and i want you to declare forget about the problems lift your voice and speak as a believer that you are to every spirit address it behold i give you power over snakes scorpions pray Oh yes, he must leave you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are spirits that will never allow you to walk in the anointing. They will never let your eyes open to see visions. And even when it opens, they will they will bring you into error so that everything you see misleads you into trouble i like you to lift your voice again just do what i'm asking you to do from the realm of the heavens challenge powers challenge forces over your finances Oh, it must change. It must change. It must change. It must change tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. My goodness. It's a strong anointing in this place. Oh, it must let you go tonight. Who says that breakthrough will not come? Who says that marriage will not come? Who says that cancer cannot die? Who says that HIV cannot live? Maka kapata. Lift your hands to the heavens. Lift your hands. My goodness. All I see in this room and outside 
is fire that's all i see fire you will see deliverance tonight like you have never seen this one is the one that will bring your miracle listen as this prayer goes on miracles will start immediately many of you will start getting reports from your body many of you will be open to visions right now lift your hands hallelujah my goodness there is such a heavy unction on me it's for deliverance tonight it must give way for you to move forward at the count of three hear me listen i want you to shout jesus at the top of your voice at the top of your voice is a prophetic instruction as you shout it fire some of you visions your eyes will be open in the spirit you will see covens catching fire Matalabata. father you told me tonight is a night of deliverance there are families under bondage there are businesses under bondage enough is enough let your fire bring deliverance are you ready now at the count of three may heaven invade this place one two three i command governs i command altars i command spirits bring them out fire 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 bring deliverance tonight hallelujah hallelujah the holy ghost is showing me a vision we are going to shout it again please don't do it here i see many people formating poison physical poison as you shout physically it will come out lift your voice bata bata shaka ta 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 mare tende tepa father anything that has been planted in the body of anyone right now as you shout jesus we are victim one two three shaka ta 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 shaka ta 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 shaka ta 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 e protos mokotos lekotos Pronto to kote eriakata. He must let you go. He must let you go. You are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives. My goodness fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the lord is giving me a word right now there are ladies here there is a spirit that comes to you in the night to oppress you to sleep with you right now lord where are they let that fire let that fire bring deliverance right now right now right now right now every spirit husband every manifestation every spirit wife every devil that has leads to you it leaves you now now right now He must leave you now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. You see physical snakes. Where is that lady? 
physically physically it appears to you physically the lady is right here please come out i don't know who that lady is physical snake it appears to you you see it let me tell you something after this miracle service you will see advancement in your life in a way that will surprise you that's when you will know that satan is not as powerful as he looks hallelujah lift your voice and pray any covenant that ties me to anything of the fathers have been called out of every tribe every tongue i am a, a new creation no longer connected to ancestry lift your voice and pray every altar that connects me to my fathers Every witchcraft that attempts to connect me. No, I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. Hallelujah. 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 We we'll pray for the sick, but there are miracles happening right now. When I call your, your case, just check it and come out here right now. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lady. Please check it. There's like a growth right here at the side of your breast. Check it right now. You'll find out that it's gone. Check it right now right now and make your way to the front i see someone having severe pain your tie right under here your tie there is severe pain severe pain the lord is healing that person right now please check yourself and make your way to the front right now check yourself make your way to the front i'm seeing two ladies you came here with heaviness there is heaviness on your chest it's just like something heavy god is healing people can you appreciate jesus hallelujah there are miracles happening make your way to the front now we'll give you room to testify stand here all the people that are coming out for miracles just stand here right now there are miracles that are happening i see someone like your nose it's like there is an irritation in your nose while we we're praying you felt like there was fire on it and now it's lifted now it's lifted completely it's gone right now right now right now i'm seeing someone severe peptic ulcer it hooks you hooks you very seriously as we started praying it just disappeared who is that make your way to the front right now right now right now Rakatatata. I see a lady you hear a voice telling you you will die not a vision a physical voice physical voice it tells you you will die a physical voice physical voice it speaks to you physically can you help me all the please if I don't call anybody's case I'm going to pray for the sick I'm calling miracles cases that have happened help me um Aaron would you help me just examine these people and then we'll take a few testimonies God is giving people miracles miracles right now miracles right now miracles are happening right now I'm seeing somebody listen there is a growth you came here with the growth at the back of your neck check it now it has disappeared check it now now and make your way to the front put your hand there and check it you will find out that that growth is gone completely i'm seeing two holes two holes of a left teeth being healed right now check it you won't find the hole again two holes two holes of your teeth check it right now and make your way to the front my goodness god is doing miracles in this place there are miracles that are happening 
miracles that are happening i saw this same case in kaduna this morning now i'm seeing four people four people there is one guy and three ladies you have pile pile for one of the ladies when you go to ease yourself it's as if you are giving birth blood comes out go and check yourself now you find out that that pile is gone gone back to the devil go and check it please please we are not playing games don't sit back confirm your miracle and seal it i know there is a guy i saw a guy pile severe pile hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady tears just start coming out of your eyes without any you are not crying but it just starts coming out it's very embarrassing it starts coming out right now the lord is healing you wherever you are confirm it and make your way to the front right now confirm it and make your, your way to the front right now right now confirm it and make your way to the front we'll give all of them room to testify god is healing people right now i'm seeing someone with this finger look at me this finger this very finger that's what the lord is showing me there is a miracle happening on that finger this very one i don't know if it broke or something happened to it but there is a miracle happening to that finger right now right now i'm hearing a name gabriel 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 who is gabriel 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 the lord is bringing a a miracle for gabriel gabriel i've been fighting this name but let me bring it out i'm hearing a name asabe i don't know if it's a woman or somebody in a family asabe asabe i'm hearing that name who is asabe please confirm make sure you confirm it let's not huh you are asabe uh but i'm seeing another person again no eh this you are please stand here miracles everywhere come tell us very quickly come come please help us give aaron let's let's coordinate them okay come sir let's just listen to this give them the mic lawrence just testify tell us look at the crowd straight to the point what happened to you what is the miracle praise the lord i am the girl whom the man of god prophesied i have an irritation in my nose since 2012 2012 yes. and now what happened every day once i put my hand i i always notice blood coming out but now i felt something drop out of my nose that devil leaves you forever in the name of jesus christ free give jesus praise god is doing miracles here all kinds of miracles are happening in this place please the next people let's have them come very quickly just turn and let's testify don't look at me look at the crowd praise the lord hallelujah i i have this bonus while we are session. talking there is a lady who will come session. strongly under the anointing outside please pick that lady and bring her hallelujah. as we are talking the power of god is in fact two ladies two ladies outside mightily by the anointing please pick them and bring them yes ma'am hallelujah on my left thigh i have this burning sensation i don't even know what cause but i know that once it starts it burns me as if i'm sitting on fire okay but now it's gone and since last hearing this voice saying i will die even when i was coming last week i had this fear that i was going to but right now it's gone. completely gone give jesus praise god bless you yes please check yourself if you see a miracle you can come out we are going to pray for the sick but we want to take testimonies We'll give you an opportunity to tell us what God is doing. Mama, please stand up. Please don't let Mama sit down for God's sake. Give her a chair. Mama should not be kneeling down. Praise the yes, Lord. please. Sometimes I normally feel pains in my chest. Sometimes I normally feel pains in my chest, but now I feel very... Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Any pain? Any pain? Is there any pain? Is there any pain? Give Jesus praise. Yes, please. Praise God. While he was preaching, I was having peptic ulcer. So peptic I ulcer. Out, but while we started praying, it left me. And There's I'm one more outside. Go and carry her. It left me immediately. Now I'm not feeling it again. No pain again. Give Jesus praise. Yes, ma'am. Praise, praise the 
Lord. I used to have this heavy pain on my chest since 2002. But um, when I went to see the doctor, they said it was pneumonia. It's, sometimes I can't breathe. Pneumonia. The pastor said that she sh we should shout Jesus. I can't breathe. I can't shout too much. But the moment I shout Jesus, I fell on the floor. Everything just left you. No pain again. Praise the Let Lord. Let me pray for you. It never returns to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone with an eye problem. I don't know what the eye problem is, but it's living right now. Please confirm yourself. Eye problem. Check it. Check it. We are not playing games. Please check it. Check it. Eye problems. I'm seeing a miracle happening right now. Eye problem. Confirm it and come out right now. I'm seeing this at least 10 people with this case. At least 10 like the lower abdominal region right here. You've been having se severe pain. It's like something pulls you there. Check it right now. You'll find out that you receive a miracle. At least 10 people. Please make your way to the front. At least 10 people. Check it right now. God is doing a miracle. Don't sit back. Inside and outside. Lower abdominal region. Lower abdominal region. That miracle is happening right now. Right now. Right now. At least 10 people. 10 people with that pain. As soon as you check it, make your way to the front. Celebrate Jesus. God is healing them. They are coming. They are coming. All of you, you can come and stand here. The moment you receive a miracle, please stand here. They will confirm you. At least 10 ladies. Right at this lower abdominal region. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a gentleman. You came here with a throat condition. In fact, um, let me just describe to you. They are telling you they want to take you somewhere to cut the throat. It's like there is an elongation. Some, I'm seeing them saying they want to use, is it knife or something? And cut something that, uh, an elongation. Who is that person? The Lord is healing you right now. Right now. You can't swallow things. You always feel like it's like bone. But it's like there is something on your throat. Almost perpetually. Right now, check it, check it. Check it completely. The power of God is coming upon you. There is a lady. God is healing your mother. But the power of God will come upon you as a witness to that. Lord, where is that lady right now? Where is that lady? Identify her, oh God, by the power of God. Right now. Right now. Right now. Please bring the lady out. God is healing her mother right at home. And God is using what is happening. As, as a point of contact as a point of contact I'm still seeing breast lump disappearing like a lump I'm seeing one on the left left side please check it check it when you receive a miracle testimony is one way to seal it and keep it the lord is showing me three ladies your hair falls every time you go to comb your hair you literally comb your hair and bring out a copious amount of your hair that is removing this thing is a serious thing you have used medication and it has not stopped a miracle is coming to those people right now a miracle is coming to those people yes let's take the testimony quickly Please loud and straight to the point. Praise the Lord. Help I us sound, please. Can you help us with this mic? I used to have this pen down my stomach here, but now I'm, I'm not feeling completely okay. gone. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. How long has it been? been Come long. on, Koinonia. Let's not get too used to miracles in this place. <laughs> Hallelujah. It never returns to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The next person, please. My goodness, look at what God is doing. God is giving people miracles. Go ahead. My name is like I'm pregnant. It's to come like pain as in I'm pregnant and I've been complaining that for months. But today, when the prayer was going on, I felt relieved and my stomach is In fact, open. as she was talking, hold on. The Lord opened my eyes. There is a lady. Your stomach is already swelling. This is almost, it's even beginning to embarrass you. It's not just like a stomach protruding. You are feeling it very hard and stiff. Um, it's, you are afraid because it's looking like it's a situation of a fibroid please check it right now God is giving you a miracle God is giving you a miracle God bless you, bless you quickly 
When they say we should shout, praise the Lord. So I now shout. The stomach used to pay me even before I come to Zaria, but I can't feel it again. Completely gone. Yes. Give Jesus praise. It never returns again. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. Um, recently, I started having this eye pain. When I'm walking, doing other things, one of the eye get blank and I don't see again. But now, after the prayers, I feel one sharp pain and I used to have this abdominal pain almost all the time, but it just left me immediately. Give Jesus praise. It never returns to you again in the name of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus Christ. This abdominal pain starts two days ago. So I came here and when I was praying, I just received total deliverance and complete deliverance please help them so that they don't fall on, on praise the lord the abdominal pain normally comes and go and when i was outside i was still feeling my stomach hooking such that i could not stand well i was bending and then when the man of god spoke i got up and stretched and to the glory completely of the lord, no pain again come on give jesus praise give jesus praise the lord mine is more of um creativity ideas that God is to give me every day when I'm in my quiet time and it's it happens that every time I try to push further I realize that there are a lot of setbacks distractions and uh, confusions that comes my way and right now, but what right happened? now when at the mention of the name Jesus I felt my body on fire I can't really understand what was going on. On fire, a restoration yes, of that creativity yes, sir. comes to you yes, in the sir. name of the Lord Jesus amen. Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I came here with a severe eye eating. At a shout of Jesus, everything just wiped out. Believe me, that name works. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I have a medical report from Shika consigning pain. In pain. Joint. You went to the hospital. Yeah. What did they say is wrong with you? They, did, they couldn't see the anything. They couldn't see anything. Yeah. Okay. And when you were praying, you prophesied that there is a uh, ten people here that that God is working on yes. their system. And, and now what has happened to you? The pain is gone. The pain is completely Even gone. Give medical, Jesus praise. Even the medical report is in my room. The medical report is in your room. Yeah. You go and check yourself, and you find out. All of you that were under the anointing, when you get up, don't just go back to your seat. Check. You will find out that all kinds of things have happened. You are not just falling for nothing. Praise the Lord. Praise the, praise the Lord. I'm trusting God for a new set of dentition. My teeth are just... Go ahead. The power of God is on her. Oh, Father, complete what you have started in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus. Because your faith can receive it, let it have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. After we take this trip, people and, um, it's okay. Um, there is this pain that I usually used to have by, um, from under my armpit to the left side of my breast. Okay. So when um, you mentioned the case, I was not too sure if I was the one. But later, you respond by saying the, your left side of your breast. I notice, like it's swelling up, and sometimes I very, I feel like very, a swelling there. Yeah. yeah. And I now, feel, have you checked it? Yes. I, Is there I, anything I there? Okay, Completely gone. Okay. Come on, give Jesus praise. It never returns again in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I thank God for the spirit of fear, as in I do get scared a lot, but I now I'm free in the name. The of spirit of fear. Come. It never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost. You are free from the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Yes, Praise please. the Lord. I want, to, I want to thank God for healing me from the lower abdomen. I used to have this pain right from child. When, when, I, was, when I was young, I used to have this pain. But when you were praying and you asked us to shout Jesus, I, I feel relieved. I just Completely. Want to thank God. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my dear. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know. Sometimes second of August, this very month, this is my middle finger. Help her. Fire is landing on people. I started having pain around this region, affecting this finger mostly. I can barely use it, but since he prayed during the miracle session, 
I got healed. I announced, I I've saw been that shaking, lady, I've a been finger. shaking it. I've been shaking it and no I'm pain now. Come on, no give pain. Jesus praise, everybody. Praise. Where are the two ladies, Asabe, that I called? I called some two ladies, Asabe. The Lord is changing the story of your family. Listen, Mama is Asabe. Huh? Please, you should not stress Mama. If she's, if she's out because she's sick, Mama is on as I make her door, please. You people should not stress this old woman. If she should, even when she's coming out, carry her with the chair and just keep her here. We'll pray for her. Please. The Lord is, is wiping the tears in your family. You believe that? When a word comes like this, it comes to give you liberty. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I end this oppression in this family right now. It goes forever in the name of Jesus. Who has an elder brother? Who has an elder brother? Yes. Do, you, do you have an elder brother? Yes. What is he doing? He's a carpenter. He's a carpenter? Yes. The person I'm, I'm talking about didn't go to school, though. Is your brother? He's, Where is he? He's in the village. He's in the village. God is going to lift him. What is this thing that I'm seeing them <laughs> laughing at him and they are saying it? It's not his fault that he didn't go to school. Even you, is by the grace of God that you are here. It's not like maybe yes. it's that your, your people are sponsoring you and all of that. It's the favor of God. Yes. But God, as a sign, go and tell him, call him after koinonia that the lord said he's going to connect him to a rich man he should be faithful to that man Amen. that man will bless him Amen. father let there be breakthrough in this family in the name of jesus asabe gabriel oh your name is gabriel your name too is gabriel sir who is titi lion titi lion i'm hearing a name titi lion Please let's save time. Our time is gone. Um, we still have to pray for the sick. Titi Layo. I'm hearing the name Titi Layo. Titi Layo. Who is working here, sir? You're, you're working. You're both working. Okay. I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing. The Lord is. Sir. It won't be too long you are leaving Gusau. We spoke, at least we spoke. That one is no word of knowledge. We, we spoke about it, but it won't be too long. The Lord is lifting you to another place. Go and write it down. This will happen to you. It won't be too long. Write it down. You will come back and testify before them. It's not a disadvantage. It's something that will bless you in no small way. Because you have come with your heart open. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I lay my hands, I pray. Right now. That you bring your word to pass concerning his life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I hear breakthrough for you, sir. This is what I hear. The Lord is saying I should announce breakthrough to you. Father, I hold his hands and I announce breakthrough in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Your mother is sick. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past one year. Bleeding? You, you can see the kind of demonic thing we are talking about here. Huh? Your mother bleeding for one year non-stop. How about that? And you fell under the anointing. No, sir. You, you are just standing to agree yes, for her. Okay, sir. no problem. We have a session for that. But since you came out, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Do you believe God will touch your mother? Where is she? Where is home? Taraba. Taraba State. Yes, sir. You are from Taraba. Yes, sir. Lord, show Mama mercy right now in the name of Jesus Christ. As it touches you, it touches her. Please don't just come out at will. Ah, you are related to her. Your sister is Titi Lion. Yes, sir. Where is she? She's in Kaduna. What's she doing? She's schooling at Kaduna. She's schooling. Okay, let's pray for her. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, what are you doing? You. I'm a student, sir. Where? KPSS. Eh? Knowledge is power. Secondary school. Okay, knowledge is power. Yes, sir. Your sister is where? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Tell her. Is she married? No, sir. Tell her marriage is coming for her. Are you hearing me? You believe it? Because she has been praying about this. Your mother, where's your mother? Your mother has been joining her to pray. Yes, your mother even went to a man of God and they prayed about yes. this thing. Is that true? Your mother went to a man of God to pray. Go and tell her that the Lord is saying marriage comes for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is an awesome God he raised. Hallelujah. Now, please, this is the time to minister specially to sick people.
you know the nature of our programs here we will need a lot of time so if you are not sick if you are escorting somebody please just bring the person and go back and once they pray for you don't wait for another prayer one touch is okay some of you when they pray for you you refuse you still stand back please once they pray for you just check yourself and go back praise the lord and then don't keep going back and coming out and saying you are doing this and that if you came with somebody who is sick now is the time to bring them out while we are praying please arrange them now is mama's time all this all our mothers they can make their way now our god is an awesome god he reigns from heaven above with the way for them clear the way for sick people those under the anointing just just carry them and keep them gently somewhere hallelujah now let's save time while we're praying for the sick all of you begin to submit your prayer request please i permit you to put on your phone if you need to call your loved ones to send you prayer requests call them because what god is doing tonight is unusual call them and tell them there's fire upon this place they should submit their prayer requests ushers please begin to go around those online those who are connecting with us through the internet they can also connect by faith as we trust God for miracles. Worship team, please get set. You'll be giving us powerful worship songs. We'll just pray for our elderly ones. Let the Lord touch them and then he will give us peace. Please and please, um, when we pray for you, you clear the way. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother. Awesome is your name. You do might, you do glory, you do glory, you're a awesome is your name, awesome is your name. May God use you to wipe the tears of your parents. Listen, let me tell you, any child, hear me, I'm saying this especially to we young people, any child that makes himself an instrument of pain to your mother do you know you bring a curse upon your life when you do that whatever spirit is bringing hardship on our mother and making her children not to succeed the way it should pray for her children in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome, sir. Please sit down. Who's your dad? Welcome, sir. Straight, straight to the point. His legs are swollen because it's been long I saw him. He's been, he doesn't breathe well. And at the same time, he's having problems with mama. None of his children look at him except me. The same problem that mama is having, like faith for it's just similar thing. We are eight. Oh, it's paining you, sir. We are going to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, stretch your hands towards our daddy. Please participate in the service. That's why you came. Hallelujah. No, no, no. Daddy, sit down. Please sit down. sit down. Please, let's stretch our hands. 25 years of witchcraft. This is witchcraft. This is not sickness. 25 years of wickedness and oppression. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Let there be deliverance, oh God. Baba, I'm going to pray for you. Well, we are praying for you now. Jesus Christ is going to touch you. Father, let Baba return with a testimony. I lay my hands in the name of Jesus and I cancel the plague of witchcraft in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, after today, check him and don't cry. Don't cry, eh? Clean your tears. Clean your tears. Baba, they will watch you and they will see the improvement and you will let us know. Since it's not something we can check, you're already walking in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that the power of God will come here right now. As I lay my hands upon you, I want you to believe. We all came here because we trust Jesus Christ. And there will be a miracle. Those of you who are sitting down, be connecting to the healing anointing, you are the one who will be doing this. The goal is not for one person to do this. That as you are watching, something will come upon you. Thank you, Jesus. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do my. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Your oh God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at a very awesome serious situation. Can you flash this, this baby? Look at, can you believe? Listen, can you believe for God's sake that this baby, as beautiful as this child is, the brain is not developing? Look at this. Who told you the brain is not developing? The doctor, and we've done CT scan. You've done CT scan. You have your evidence. They said the brain is not developing. Remember, remember our teaching. A body without a spirit. There must be a spirit that is stopping this brain. How can a baby like this? This is an apostle. This is a prophet. This is a great man. Oh, what male or female? Male. Male. Man of God in the making. And a spirit come. How will you like to have a child? That do you know what it means for the brain not to develop? That child becomes like an imbecile forever. In the name that is above all names. We lay hands upon this child. We are not only praying that God will heal him, but God will use him. My God, I pray right now. Let the brain begin to develop. We cause the spirit that is responsible for this wickedness. Right now in the name of Jesus.
out of her right now. Let her go. Out. Out of her. Out. Out. Release her right now. Madam is saying, sorry, who brought her? I say, I, I go village, now I'm mad from village. I go election. I will charm from village. Look at this. Mama went for election. They fired something upon her head. Now she's mad. Is she mad? Is she your dog now? Yes. Yes. You are mad. No, you are. You are not mad in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. In the name of Jesus. Whoever organized that charm on your head, it returns back to them sevenfold. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mama, I'm praying for you right now. Every charm, every enchantment, you came to this place tonight. It ends in the name of Jesus. You are her daughter. You are her daughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even as it releases your mother, it releases you. Mama, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong? Accident, sir. Accident. Yes, sir. This guy, for a long time, the spirit of death has been following you. Eh? Come. Do you know why the spirit of death is disturbing you? I'm looking at you. Don't feel embarrassed. Eh? I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing you smoking something. Eh? Tell me the truth. Don't tell lies. Yes, this is what death would have killed you. You are smoking a... Uh, uh, what do they call this thing? Eh? In Jahem, you go. Yes, sir. Is that not true? Yes, sir. You are smoking. The devil wants to kill you. This is. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. Can you see this? Look at this. Because this is not the first time. Every time I see this guy, I see a well wind on his head. You, you know that the devil is after your life. You are now adding a go to it. Jesus came that you will be saved. Are you getting me? You are ready to give your life to Jesus Christ. Genuinely. Eh? Oh, oh, you are, oh, you are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. You are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. We cancel those relationships right now. Amen. I'm seeing you sitting down with a group of people. Yes. They are smoking and they are giving you to smoke, but you are saying you have repented yes, and they are even laughing at you. Yes, you have to leave them. We cancel that relationship in Jesus' name. The Bible, hear me. Don't say I'm not doing it. But I'm sitting down where others are doing it. The Bible says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on that law doth he meditate day and night. I curse that madness in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for supernatural healing. Look at me. Look at me. Lift your hands. Forget about the wound. Lift it up. Be careful. You broke the hand. Oh, it can't lift. Oh, I see. No, no, no. If it can't lift, don't, don't harm yourself. I thought you broke your bone. That's why I was asking you to lift it. Father, let there be a miracle right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. And anybody who smokes it, go in this place. If you know you smoke it, go. Or codeine. Altar. Once I make the altar call. Just run and come and kneel down here. Because tonight is your night of salvation. Please, don't play games with your destiny. Anything you smoke, anything you drink that is outside the jurisdiction of decency. The moment there's time for altar call, please make your way here. We love you. But then the Lord wants to touch you. Let's hurry up because our time is gone. Your name is here. Out.
On the request right now, at the same time, an altar call is co as an altar call will be going. Those who need Jesus Christ, you are here right now, inside and outside. There are some of our brothers who are smokers and ladies. The ones that I spoke to now is the time you can come before the presence of God. Don't feel bad, we're a family, and any other person. There are those who are saying, Lord, I'm tired of the way my life is. I need a new beginning. As we pray, please come and wait here. Join this lady very quickly. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. Please, let's save time. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. God bless you. A new beginning. God is giving you a new beginning. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. You are saying, Lord Jesus, I make up my mind to walk with you. God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, are you celebrating them? God is saving sinners. Keep coming from outside. Please clear the way for them if they are coming. Salvation is a very serious issue. Clear the way for them so that they'll come. Don't let any devil stop you. You are welcome. I know we're out of time. But please make your way to the front right now. Make your way to the front. We love you. No man condemns you. He can give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you here. I don't care what you have done or what you have not done. I want you to know that His Majesty can give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand and say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died and rose again. I'm tired of the way my life is. I surrender everything to you seriously and completely from this night take over my life be my Lord and Savior let your life come upon me I break free from habits from sins and everything that destroys my life from today I'm a child of God I am saved in the name of Jesus, let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you for these ones. Unashamedly, they have come before you. Preserve them by your power. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray that you will use them mightily. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of sin over your life. You will never return, especially for those of you who are victims of addictions and smoking. You will never return to it again in the name of Jesus Christ. That power is broken from off your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want you to follow a gentleman. They will have your details. And then on Tuesday unfailingly. Please be around. Um, meet with the prayer department. And um, we'll fire you up. You'll be with them for at least a month. They will guide you. The gentleman is waving his hand. Salute them everybody. Congratulate them. Stretch your hands towards the prayer request. In one minute. Please everybody rise. We're rounding up. Stretch your hands towards the prayer request. Your request is here. Begin to speak. Prophesy. Prophesy over it in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy over it. Prophesy over it. Lord, unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Are you praying? Lord, do miracles. Every spirit that is responsible for the troubles that are written here, we judge that spirit. Every spirit, every covenant, every influence. Every spirit responsible for barrenness here, responsible for any setback in the name of Jesus, we challenge it by the blood of Jesus. We challenge it by the blood of Jesus. We challenge it by the blood of Jesus. We challenge it, Lord. Let your people have testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we declare that every request every request that is presented here is turned into a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ 
and you will stand to testify before the people of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Now lift your hands and receive the prophecy. I decree and I declare over you every confusion in your life, every cry for direction. Right now, in the name of Jesus, may you receive direction for the next level of your life. Receive direction for the next level of your life. Receive direction for the next level of your life. Every area of confusion, I arrest it right now. You will hear a voice from behind telling you this is the way. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those who are students, I pray for your academics. The exams that are about to come. Your best result in your various institutions. This exam is what will produce it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May you record five points. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for every family represented here. Whatever has stagnated your family. By this anointing I declare. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that has covered your glory. So that the glory of the Lord upon your life will not be seen. In the name of Jesus we tear that veil off. We tear that veil off. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Whoever needs to help you. Before next miracle service. I call them forth into your life. Mysterious helpers. Mysterious helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Fresh grace for prayer. Fresh anointing for prayer. Every lack of passion for the things of God. I kill it right now in the name of Jesus. Every carnality and flesh and wordlessness and prayerlessness that is eating up your life. It dies a natural death here tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. With these hands that are lifted, go and begin to produce results. Go and heal the sick. Go and open doors for the oppressed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for families that are trusting God for miracle marriages. We release those marriages right now. I pray for families that are trusting God for miracle jobs. We release those jobs right now. Please believe me as I pray. We release those jobs right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anyone here who the devil is eyeing for death. That the devil has said you will not see the end of this year. In the name of Jesus, we lift up that embargo. We lift up that embargo. Favor like you have never seen, receive it right now. Open doors like you have never seen, receive it right now. Breakthroughs like you have never seen, receive it right now. I speak life to every dying thing in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever has rejected you, may they look for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command prophetic dreams. Mysterious spiritual experiences. May God show you the solution to your problems. In dreams and visions. Whoever is behind the failure of your life. We command judgment upon them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I prophesy unto you access to the mysteries of the kingdom access to deep revelation access to insight in the spirit whenever they are looking for men to favor may they find you may they find you in the name of jesus you are blessed in the city and blessed in the country you are blessed in your going out and blessed in your coming in every tongue that rises up against you will be judged in the name of jesus I declare that the seal of the blood is upon you. You have no covenant with failure. You have no covenant with death. May God use you mightily. 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 Use you mightily. I declare, may the mantle of honor come upon your life. 
that mantle that makes men honor you mysteriously i release it upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus the mantle of honor i pray for you extraordinary intelligence levels of mental acumen in the name of the lord jesus christ extraordinary intelligence I cast out the spirit of fear fear of the future fear of death i rebuke it from your life in jesus name and every depression upon your spirit i release you from it right now every voice that has told you you will not succeed we cancel that voice right now in the name of jesus finally i pray for you passion for the things of god hunger for intimacy with the holy spirit grace for fasting and prayer genuine fasting and prayer access to spiritual power activations of the gifts of the spirit visions and and the move of the spirit upon your life in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise in the name of jesus all those worshiping with us for the first time please make your way to the front right now very quickly we're really out of time we have two minutes and we're out please celebrate all those who are worshiping with us some have come from far some from near different states please come we have a prayer and a blessing for you celebrate them koinonia keep clapping they are coming may god bless all of you who have invited them their lives will never be the same in the name of jesus christ hallelujah for all of you who have come here this is koinonia god bless you for being here we're here every fridays is a meeting that is put together by eternity network international you're welcome to fellowship and worship with us again and again and your life will never be the same in the name of the lord jesus christ stretch your hands towards them saints of god and let's bless them we release the blessing upon this house over your life no keep standing don't worry you can stand i prophesy to you in the name of jesus you will leave this place and return with dramatic testimonies whatever you came here with is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus christ i see two of you standing here there's miracle marriage coming for two ladies here specifically i'm seeing two ladies that's the reason why you came specifically i prophesied miracle marriage for you in the name of jesus christ for one of you, the person you are going to marry is a banker and he will come to you before October. Your wedding will happen before December 31st. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we decree and declare over your life. You will carry an unusual unction and everyone who sees you will know that you have come before the presence of God. There is someone here you are standing, you are going to have like one week of prophetic encounter stretch. One week every night repeatedly you're going to have different people come to teach you certain things and on the sixth night you're going to have an impartation it's like a hand that will be laid upon you it's not demonic in the name of the lord jesus christ we bless you return with evidences return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ thank you so much for coming we love you and we honor you please follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf and then you'll have a few details celebrate them koinonia hallelujah hallelujah we believe you have been blessed by this message for additional information you can visit us on facebook on www.facebook.com slash koinonia turn to network international or follow